This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to Your Mom's House. All right, this is stupid. That is silly. I mean, I mean, do you think, do you think Josh is like having fun with it? Like, you think he's like, you know, I can't see and I don't want you to see either. Like, is that what he's doing when he does this? You're still so, I will say that he does. I mean, the awesome. irony, right? Like the irony of a guy Right. With real vision problems, being like, fuck you. You read this shit. You read the way I you know? read it now. Yeah. Do you think he, that's what he's really doing? Of course. Sticking it to us, sighted people. Of course. People. Yeah. Take it, take it personally. He's saying, like, look what I've been through for years. You yeah. know? It's normal that you take it personally. Yeah. I mean, that's, it's obvious. Like, he obviously is trying to stick it to us. Yeah. That's what he's doing. It's resentment. Yeah. What do you think he resents you for? That jacket, perhaps? The, the, the jacket. Do you the feel vision. like you can, can I tell you when I used to wear that jacket? When? When I worked at the Department of Public Safety. Are you gonna do Charlie unit or dispatch? Everybody guess real quick how much this jacket oh. cost. Oh my Take god. Take a guess. Seriously. Um let's see. Um I'm gonna say grand. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, a little lower. Uh I'm I'm just, gonna, I just want guesses. I don't know. I'm gonna say, I don't know, two, two fifty. Okay. Like nine hundred? Me? Yeah, I guess. All right, I'm gonna go. This is ridiculous. It's got um, a ca you can't see it, but it's got like camouflage. No, I think they can see it. Can you see the camo? You can't see the camo. It at doesn't all? read it on just, the it camera. Just looks like a real tight black jacket. It's not tight at and all. And shiny. No, no, don't no. forget. Like, oh, oh. Uh, you know what? I should describe for the listeners. I apologize. It looks like um a baggy windbreaker, but black, and it's what kind of what um Ice Cube. Where is an NWA, right? Am I right? An NWA? <laughs> you mean this is what Ice Cube wore 25 years ago? Right. Like, doesn't he in the, in the straight out of Compton? Like, wasn't he, wasn't Ice Cube wearing jackets similar to the so shiny? So woo. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you do look like a, you've got your windbreaker on and you're going to go out in traffic. You're going to do Charlie unit. You're going to take it cars. Okay. You might work dispatch later. Dispatch. The University of San Francisco, I wore the same one at the Department of Public Safety. My okay. work study job. Su woo. Su woo. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Okay. How much is it? I'm going to say 500. Well, the truth is I don't remember. <laughs> but Oh my God. But, <laughs> but Annie and Josh were the closest. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. Don't do that again. Well, you know what? I didn't even really like it. I was just like, yeah, who cares? You Can know? you return it? No, nah, it's too late. This is terrible. It's terrible? You think it's terrible? It's silly. What is this? I've worn it on stage. Okay. You know, I got, I got, I got some mileage. Next out time, of it. run it by me before you make the purchase. Yeah, I don't like to do that. Yeah, it's my job. I'm your woman. I have to tell you when you look like a ice cube. Uh, ice cube. Yeah. You think it's a bad jacket? Yeah. Really? It doesn't fit you well. It's big, too big. It's kind of baggy and weird, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. He likes it's it. Here, you here. know what? If Eddie gives it? me the thumbs up on anything, Any. I'm going to take his advice over Oh, yours. okay. Never mind. What, on fashion? What do I know? No, what? he's the aficionado. Yeah, come on. He's the model. He's he told, our fashion guy. He told me my shoes were cool today. Like, here's the way it works. If Eddie goes, I like it, then I'll be it's like, good. that's cool. And if Josh goes, I don't like it, I'll be like, that's cool too. You know? <laughs> that's the way I would choose my fashion. <laughs> <laughs> That's how, yeah, but I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but I, I do like your, your dad glasses. You do? Those are the new ones, and I really like those. Yeah, I like them too. And I like your silver fox beard. It's very cute. Um, I'm trying to look Doesn't for this. Doesn't even register. You like hey, my beard. Did you I, see I like that? that? I was call How many women have been with their husbands for 15 years and two children are like, I adore you. I think you're handsome. I love your, I like why you're looking today. There's not a wife in America who dotes on you like I do. Who loves you like i do that's true that's true look at ignoring no that's true i agree i mean i think it's true i adore this man i think it's true i think you love me a lot i don't weigh 500 pounds which i could easily i try you to don't think i love it. you 
Well, not not like I adore. I well, adore. how do I love you? You do. You farted yeah. yesterday on the way to the bathroom. I do that for my best you friends. Squeezed your butt cheeks and made I it. I do that for my best. Sound friends. like a flute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's uh, let's see what. I'm this so is. upset. Stranger Things is over, but we'll get into it in a minute. Okay. Well, get on, girl. Come on. She wants to go home. It's Friday night. Yeah. Uh uh-uh, uh. I I, I, I lose you. you. I'm choking. No, you're not choking. <laughs> no, listen, listen to I'm me. Choking. No, come on, come on. I'm choking on a big fat black dick. Yeah, no. Who <laughs> <laughs> is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. <laughs> Your mom in the fucking stand. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house Crazy. with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Christina Pajitsi. Uh. Oh my god. I'm so bored of it already, I can't. Let's get to the fun. Uh. Well, now that the most fun part of the show is over, <laughs> let's go on. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I'll tell you something, I'll never ever get tired of somebody coming out of surgery and not knowing what yeah, they're saying. Yeah, it's a good lane for I, It videos. really is fun. It's it funny. really is. And it, it, the thing is, it's fun when it's a kid, yeah, a teenager, true. an adult, an old person. Or like an old obese person. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, they yeah. don't have to be, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I like obese people in that. I'm yeah, like, it's oh. great, man. No. No. B, B, C. No. B, what, pop. No, you need to quit talking because it keeps bleeding. Ah! You heard it? <laughs> now i've been under anesthesia once for my wisdom teeth but i think they let you kind of sober up before they put you in the wheelchair and let you out right? a little bit but it might have she's some lasting ripped. effect she's ripped right she's totally Jeez. ripped yeah yeah in the case it's in the whole wide world okay so you turn right in. i need to take it Carla. okay she can talk to you i need you to sit down no i gotta take it right now <laughs> 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 Your mouth? Okay, you need to go over tomorrow. It's touching my tit. It's grabbing all on my tit. Okay. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> this lady's abusing me. Hey, 911. <laughs> oh my God. It's wow. great. Yeah, it's great. Did she I put on it. all that eye makeup before she got put under? I think Probably. So. I don't think it was lots. during while she was under. Wow. Hey, what? Pop. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Never gets old. It doesn't get old, man. Cops. None of that stuff. <laughs> I love it. I love yeah. it. It actually brings to mind something. Um, so, you know, a few weeks ago, we played the uh, the tree trimming accident. Yes. And when we saw the video, um, at first I was like, this is just a crazy freak accident. And someone was getting kind of hurt. And then during the show, we actually thought he was decapitated, yeah, which was not good. Mm. <laughs> then it became verified that he is actually alive. So that guy did not get decapitated. That's good. But he had a horrific, horrific injury. Like one of the worst things I've ever seen. And I gotta tell you something, man. It, it, fucked, it fucked me up. Like seeing it and seeing the look in that guy's eyes was horrible and i know there's people who watch the show that think i'm a fucking maniac and that i just want to see but like there's a difference there's a difference between like you know like we played recently we played that guy on the scooter remember that i think he was in uh in 509 um so here's the thing is like the guy on the scooter falls right on the skateboard he falls but like you see him get hurt, but you don't, like, you see that he's all right. You know what I mean? Oh, shit, all right. Oh, shit, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. And his friend goes, he's dead. You're right. right. And, and plus, then he he's, gets up, he's right? sturdy. Damn, he's like a shit, big, bad. he's got meat on his bones. He's yeah. not, like, broken. And he's, he gets up and he walks. He's fine. Well, just so, like, because people send me shit all the time. 
and they'll be like, this is cool. This guy uh, loses his arms and I'm like, Dude, yeah, that's not- I don't, <laughs> that's not what I'm talking. Like, it's like, I laugh at like, there's a reason we all, a lot of us found jackass funny. Right. Like jackass, they do things that are stupid. They get hurt, but they don't get like, you know, well, their and life's not over. And it's A, it's voluntary. So they know what they're getting into. They volunteer to do the, the yeah. gag. And it's like the Three Stooges where you know that totally nobody's going to really come out of it hurt. And like the big, like, you know, the famous ones that I've laughed at. Yeah, I mean, the car in the garage, is it's bad. Yeah, but like it's bad. Are, but like I laugh, I don't see anything. You know, I don't see gore. I don't see blood. Right. I don't see... Um, and then we even got follow up that that guy actually didn't have lasting damage. That's so good. So it's like, I don't know. I'm just but making the good. point that like there's a difference. There's a difference, you know? Like I laugh at like, yes, I laugh at somebody screaming. I laugh at what appears to be an oh shit moment, right? Someone trips and falls off a thing, gets hit. Sure, sure. But um, dude, that fucking video that I, I encourage you to not look it up unless you really have a stomach for that stuff. I don't like that stuff. The, the tree trimming thing, like I, I thought it was just like whoop and then a guy falls. It's the worst catastrophic injury I've ever seen. So what you're saying is you're not um, as big of a sociopath as everybody's. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I cannot watch it. And <laughs> yeah. like I don't, I don't like, I don't look up gore death Things, I don't. You know? Yeah. Well. Yeah. No. I, but I'm, I'm making but the that point. You're, you're that's a that, lane. You're making the distinction between gore and death, and like funny, knowing that they're okay. Yeah. And they're gonna get up and walk away. Yeah. I don't want to see someone die. I don't want to see somebody no. decapitated. I don't want to see someone disemboweled. I don't want like that. To me, isn't like. Ha-ha, see now, <laughs> he's dead, or at least he'll be dead soon. Like I, that's not. Yeah. That's not. I don't know. I, to me, I think most people get that. But you always have to explain that. This, I'm telling you, this image will live in my nightmares. It's, it's so, I you know, saw it. I know, it's so harsh. Yeah, you made me watch it. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you sent it to me and uh, yeah. like I, t- I said, I'm afraid to click on this. And you said, click on it. Yeah. And then afterwards, it was determined that it was straight up gore. And yeah. You probably shouldn't show it. But it's the show. worst thing, right? It's, yeah, it's nightmare fuel. It's, it's, it's the worst thing. Yeah. It's that fucking See, guy, because Tom's always listening to like people fighting. Like we're, a friend, we're laying in bed, and I'm on my TikTok, and he's <laughs> watching people fighting, hitting. Hey, check out this fun fight at Disneyland. And like, I don't want to fucking, I don't want to fill my mind with this garbage. You know what I mean? At least what I'm looking at, it's artistic. People are trying to be creative. It's not just violence. You know what I mean? I'm trying to elevate the human race, Tom. Mm-hmm. Trying to bring people together. So woo. So yeah. woo. Yeah. <laughs> so what does that mean again? It means like bloods represent or something bloods, like that. I don't know. Bloods. No, fake ass. Fake ass motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. You want to see him again? I fucking that love that guy. Bring it back. Why don't we relive it? I think there's a, it's, oh, it's in the other one. I think I could find that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, um. I'm just getting used to the controls again. Are man. you excited? You're back? Of course I'm, I'm excited. I'm uh, very excited to get to a few things this on This public t- announcement goes out to all you bitch ass <laughs> niggas that motherfucker claim that I'm a false blood. Bitch, call me out and see if I'm a motherfucking false blood. You <laughs> niggas don't work no wreck. Suwu, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> I really like this one. You really like this one. Yeah, it's fucking great. I love yeah. this guy. Yeah. What do you like about it specifically? Um, I like that he's emotionless, matter of fact, yeah. about what he's like. He's actually upset, but he's not freaking out. And <laughs> I don't know. I just I love the Subu thing because I don't hear that all the time. I was I was watching this TikTok when we were laying in bed, and it caught your ear. It did. And you go, yeah. And you go, what's that one? I got some TikTok. I was gonna, I was gonna swipe to the next, but mm-hmm. the fact that you it piqued your interest. I would go, okay, well, I got to stay on this lane. So now I'm, I'm getting into gangbangers later. That's my next <laughs> oh. lane. That's um, for the next episode. And I don't have it prepared for today, but. Well, there was also the, uh, what's it? The, like the best story I've ever heard in my life. That was on there too. The <laughs> one that. <laughs> Do you want to play that one again? I got, oh, he loves it. See, I knew you would like that I actually, one. Actually, I'll tell you I something. I knew you would like that I watched one. it last night again. Yeah. <laughs> No, Tom made me find that guy's profile, and then we went through his catalog. It's, 
And he uh, really liked it. Well, it's such a good story. That's the thing. I want to, I want to, <laughs> <laughs> he tells a good story. That's what I love. Do you want to play it again for people? Fuck. Do you have it? I mean, I can't wait to show it to Drew. I'm going to show it to Dr. Drew. Like, <laughs> tell me if you don't think this is a good story. <laughs> and also the hairbrush eating. That one's really good. That's the craziest shit I've ever seen. Yeah. I might want to see that guy's injury over watching that lady eat fucking hairbrushes. Again. I like the lady. I've been watching that. Time. <laughs> like eating a hairbrush. God damn. Yeah. Uh, we'll show him again. Here he is. No <laughs> oh, this might not be the right one. No, that's it's the, the clip right after this. It's after it. Oh. I, I prepped them in an All order. Story right, time. Story <laughs> time. <laughs> so me and my friend were at a party, you know, okay. at a friend's house, yeah. and he met a chick. You can never tell, sometimes you can never mm -hmm. tell if a chick, a man, or a woman sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. And, you know, he got to play the luck of the draw. And he took this chick down to my friend's basement, <laughs> yeah. down in the house, you know, yeah. and, and, and then, you yeah. know, <laughs> he pulled down the girl's pants that a seven inch long on it. And mm -hmm. he ran out, and he ran out of the house, and I'm not gay, I'm not gay. Find out the guy's name's Susie. Nickname Susie. <laughs> Dude, that's a like funny story. Well, I like the punch, the tag on the punchline. Yeah, the tag is the, the spittle. He's he has a lot of saliva around his mouth on his other stories too. A lot of saliva down his chin, around his mouth. Like I'm not sure what's happening. But. So one of the things <laughs> I've. Uh, what do you think what's going on? Well, hold here? on. There's something sure. I don't know what's going on. There. There's um there's a big thing right now I've where prepped some other ones. People for are talking to us because robert paul champagne is not on instagram it's upsetting people, i don't like it people i don't know if he'll be back by the time this airs but his instagram is down he has <laughs> though joined youtube now one of the things i'd like to start with if you don't mind <laughs> is uh his choice in titling <laughs> the video um nadav i don't know if you can uh, can you read the title of that video yeah, I would love to. The title of this video is 58483996681 space F8DB7CC3 space B6. Okay, we're good. So, um, I don't know what that's all about, yeah. but it's a pretty cool title it's for like, a video. I'm guessing the default, right? It is. Is that what that is on um, the video? And Robert has, uh, one thing I'm really happy with, he posted this video. He's got a little bit of a new look going on. Yes, um, he looks great. Hair looks a little different. Face looks a little different. And he's rocking some YMH merch. Which is very exciting. One of the one of the gifts that Josh bestowed upon him, he's wearing in this. Can you click this for a well, second? Well, hold on. What? Before I before I, I want to say in the documentary, when, when uh, Josh gave him the merch, he didn't seem that excited about receiving it. He seemed a little, he gave a kind of an eye roll. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. And it's like you're rolling your eyes, and now you're like, "Oh, I'm wearing it." Well, I'm excited to see that he's come around. Yeah, and it, he's had to come to Jesus on the on his merch. I'm excited to see this. I Hi. haven't seen it. And that Welcome might be our camera, right? Lucifer's layer, and here I am. What is going on? You can see I'm wearing a shirt again. See, I got the shirt. You see, I'm wearing the shirt. So the ads what I'm looking for. Guys, that come over and uh, oh, XCon or. Doug, you see? Got the whole thing on. You could you read it? Okay. It's up there for you to read. So I'm just by myself here walking around. Nothing he looks do. great. And we're going to go for this room, okay? Because it's really... We're going to go and see. Let's go for the house and start seeing something. Using okay? the iPhone, though. Here's my hallway. That's, that's not his phone. Hall. That's ours. Oh, wow. Look at that's his place. That's what we gave him. Great. This is the whole hall. I mean, thank God he started using the iPhone. It looks so much better already. There's a lot of stuff in that hall a lot of stuff but he's proud of his antiques no i know he is yeah so then he gives like a house tour and then he gets oh, right back the to the message trying to fuck who Here wants to fuck go. you got <laughs> you can see he, oh look at his dolls yep. yeah yeah be, be yep. things like that just pe like this okay. here see, no i want to see don't um, i like his wares i know i didn't get to see this is going out um friday and it's gonna be totally free okay <gasps> So you got to come out and get it, okay? Because I got a lot of things want to try to go, okay? I think he's in this Coney Island so, thing um, on Friday, yeah? I'm going to show you a cabin that I got with stuff that you're going to... If you think that beauty stuff, see everything in here. Okay. Perfumes over here. 
mask over here. I got a lot of stuff done. A lot a of nice lot stuff, of stuff, you know. And I don't, I don't okay. know what to do with it because you got to hold on to it. But there he is. There's, there's all, back to I fucking come, here. I want to come over. Yeah. You know, on 2395 Wagner House. It's part 224th and 1st Avenue, East Harlem, 718-930-9723. Anything goes from mild to wild to kink. And I'm um, here. And... um. Just bust open door policy, open door, open door, hot open door, hot, hot open door, come and get it. Thugs, punks, homeless guys, anything goes from mild to wild to kink, come over. 2395 Wagner House. Wow, same, uh, yeah. And if you scroll forward like 30 seconds. Pop me to see one, 24, come on over. Uh, if you haven't got a place to live, uh, you got to bang. And then um, oh, yeah, I'll bang, give you at least a key. You want to bring a friend, considering I could, I could take three guys in, so let me know. And three not, guys? Knock on a door. Yeah. No. Bang the door, man. Bang the door. You want to come over here and come check it out. But I'm here now just doing nothing, actually. Okay. And, um, Pop All right. 124 at the First Avenue. <laughs> We're good. So, there you know. Uh, he, he looks, I have to say, and, he uh, looks a lot better in this video. That, uh -oh. oh, that's dear. the old position. If yeah, you wait go a to minute. the top, the very top one. Well, let's see the old position, yeah, new that's, video. That's oh, the old position oh, right dear. there. That's the original position. Hi, welcome to my show. Welcome to um, Lucifer's Hot Lair. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, you guys are hot. You want to come over? Yeah, you want to get down and dirty? He's got a new camera. Right, a new wow. Yeah. <laughs> huh? That's pretty cool. It's gotten two views. Two views so far. Yeah. Just just put it up. Oh, okay. ow, oh. ow. Oh. Gentle, oh. gentle. Oh, get kinky. Let me know. You know why I'm a 2395 Jesus Christ. <laughs> Same message every day. Um, I mean, he has to have gotten some bites on this by now. I mean, we've given him so much of the, this platform. Somebody please go over and have yeah. sex with this man. For the love of God. Is there nobody out there? Is there nobody out there in the kink? Black guys out of jail? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. What I mean, what more do we have to do to get him laid? There's more to do. <laughs> um, yeah, let's uh, let's stop down for a minute and let's bring our very own uh, Josh Potter in here. It's everyone's favorite moment on your mom's house podcast. <laughs> our very own Josh Potter joins us. <laughs> <laughs> now gets me every time. So Hell funny. Yeah. <laughs> this greases the gears. That sound doesn't it? So time to laugh. Is it a vindictive thing? Are you trying to? You're trying to prove a point when you print it really small. You for fuckers us? with your eyes, you know. Yeah, make them work. Do you resent us? Sort of. Yeah, yeah. I do. I can read it. No, I'll do the. Ad, I'll do the ads. No way. Hell yeah! Put it on a tiny ass one. I'll do it. No it's way. so Damn. small, dude. No, I know. So I'm sorry. Small. I'll make it bigger. Okay. But you're not doing it to be like, fuck you. No. Okay. It's definitely, I'll explain later. Okay. 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 It's not on purpose. Okay. Okay. All right. I thought you were like <clears throat> really trying to take a jab at us, you know? No, no, no. I was why? Like, God, he why, hates would I, us. why would I do that with the ads? I don't know. I thought it was like your little way of kind of just <laughs> sticking it in, you know? You fuckers with your eyes. Yeah. That's what I thought. I don't. I don't take it personally. Oh, I took it. Really I think personally. it's because he can't see very well, and he he's in charge of printing out our copy. <laughs> and we probably shouldn't have the guy who can't see very Honestly, well. Honestly, it is. Uh, it's job. more of a. I just don't know what it's like to see. Right. So I figure I'm like, well, they got eyes; they can see this. Oh, you I know? got you. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Can you see? I this? can't do it, but can, can I see that? Can you read that? I couldn't possibly read that. No. No. Okay. No. At the DMV, my father would have read that to me, and then I would have got my Babe, license. Babe, is this what you read to me yesterday? Well, yeah, that's the second part, so I, I uh, should go back to... this uh, Before we get into Josh's news, he's got... Well, there was a... Um, oh, my God, this is the best There's thing nothing that read. kind of summed up how I, how I felt about this. Like I, this. I can't read it. So. Okay, I'll read it to you. Thank you, please. So, a little while ago, it was International Non-Binary Day, mm. and I feel like this kind of summarized uh -huh. a lot of people's feelings. So, this person wrote a reminder... For International Non-Binary Day, that all my trans comics—comics comics meaning comics that they they draw, right? Com oh, comic, oh, comic books. books. Yeah, okay, yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So all my comics are about my transition as a non-binary person. My personal transition 
looks a lot like a trans man's, and I'm glad that my comics are relatable to most trans masks. But my transition as a whole is not binary. My life as a mid-transition trans mask non-binary person is being primarily misgendered as a woman in real life and being primarily misgendered as a man online. The gender binary truly will not free me from its gross clutches. And one last note, I use trans mask to describe my transition in a way that doesn't have me use my assigned sex directly, i.e. the term AFAB. My pronouns are not interchangeable with binary ones. My pronouns are they, them exclusively. I just thought that was a nice kind of summary. Yeah, it's good. That it's finally concise, the message. You well, know? to clarify things a little. Right. It makes it, that, it definitely just opened my eyes to everything. Well, yeah. and, and provided some clarification. Much needed. For everybody, yeah. Hi, I'm Q, the world's first genderless voice assistant. Think of me like Siri or Alexa, but neither male nor female. Ooh. I'm created for a future where we are no longer defined by gender, but rather how we define ourselves. Hmm. My voice was recorded by people who neither identify as male nor female, and then altered to sound gender neutral, putting my voice between 145 and 175 hertz, wow. a range defined by audio researchers. That's good, because I'm sick of Alexa telling me she's a woman all the time, you know? Right. Yeah. It's annoying. It is annoying. I, it's I actually think they should tweak this voice a little bit. I, I think it sounds feminine. I do too. You and too? I, that's, well, that's because you're, feminine? that's your, just your cisgendered privilege. Privilege. Yeah. That's yeah. It's leaking in. You don't want to, don't succumb to that, <laughs> feel, that feeling. But for me to become a third option for voice assistance, I need your help. Oh. Share my voice with Apple, Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. And together we can ensure that technology recognizes us all. Thanks for listening. Yeah. Q. Oh. I mean, I think Q is a great concept. I like I love what it. they're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, I just feel like I would like the voice to be sort of dialed in a little more. And um, I mean, I, you know, I just, I don't know how many times I have to tell people that. Well, what's your idea of a genderless of voice? Well, I just feel like it should be tweaked. It's a, it, it does, it is leaning a little feminine. feminine I, I hear it too. And, I that, think and honestly, that kind of upsets me when I have to hear like, oh, this is clearly a feminine voice, you know? Mm. Right. Like with Alexa, it upsets you. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that. What about Siri? Very upsetting. More upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I like on Waze is that you can adjust the type right. of voice. And I, I choose boy band. I mean, I don't like to call it boy band. That is gendering them as well. But, but there it's is a like fun a, thing. You can put a dog voice on some of those things. And then I feel like, oh, I'm listening to an animal talk, you know? Nadav is DJ Khaled. Tell us how to go. <laughs> is that right? Really? Mm, yeah. It's wild. It's pretty huh. good. He's 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 a male, by the way. He is. Oh, male. I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's neat is um preparing for our, our one year old's birthday party, and at Party City there was <laughs> an entirely gender. Uh, you notice I didn't talk through yeah, that. Yeah, I to wanted to give you the moment. respect it deserved. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what if I that's the type really of boss dazzled. you were? Like every time you belched, we all had to stop, like in a meeting, stop talking. <laughs> we are that kind yeah. <laughs> but nobody could smile or laugh just nope stare. we have to stare and then we have to acknowledge it thank you and then we move on <laughs> thank you. and i tell you i do it thank as you, i'm sir. telling you that you got a mark on your file yeah <laughs> <laughs> and I have to fucked up you. this week <laughs> thank you sir um, okay but wait there's a segment there's a section of party city for the one-year-old's birthday party that you can have a gender neutral that's oh, such a good and idea. what kind such of a good idea what kind such of decorations they just have orbs What's what's in there? No, orbs are feminine. Ovaries, mammary glands. Orbs? Absolutely. Guess, you don't okay. see women when you see orbs. It could mean balls. But they're yellow and gray. The colors like that. Yellow and gray. Yeah, it doesn't say like birthday boy. Like that is strictly. Of course not. You do not say birthday boy. Birthday X. Birthday person. Oh. Birthday okay. child. I see. That kind of thing. Yeah. And in fact, I accidentally bought some cups that say, you know, birthday boy. And I'm going to have those. Oh, I'm going to have yeah, Allie yeah. scratch the word boy out. Or just send them back. Throw them in the trash. I don't know. You know? I don't I'm know. Not, that, I have to recycle them, Tom. I don't know Honestly. that you should be saying birthday child either. What if your child identifies as a teenager or as a uh, <laughs> an elderly person? That's true. Or what if you're, Wait a minute, that's ageist. Yeah. Oh my God, you're right. I yeah, totally you don't want to be an ageist. That. Yeah, that's silly. Don't do that. And I feel Fuck. like, I mean, I don't know if I'm out of line saying this, but I feel like our youngest identifies as Asian, you know? <laughs> Why do you say that about Julian? Just, there's little things he does. Transracial? Yeah. 
Like, just things what? with his voice. I'm like, the fuck are you saying? You know? Yeah. And I just feel like it's kind of he has a, he's drawn to that culture more. Well, then we need to respect that decision as a transracial baby. Look, have you started uh, giving him chopsticks instead of a fork in order to eat? I Um, have. It doesn't go well right now. mm -hmm. But I think that uh, in a while, you know, and uh, he's consenting more to diaper changes, which is good. (laughs) That's one of the things you're supposed to do. That was a hard thing for, I mean, he still can't talk. Yeah. So to get consent for diaper changes can take up to an hour to two hours at a time. How long you know does he it, sit in a soiled diaper before he consents? Like three weeks or he can he can sit days as long as he needs. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me the most of this. It feels good. <laughs> no, I don't this. like it. I like it. Yeah. No. No. Oh. Nope. So I did a little. Is What's that his that? nipple making that noise? That? That's his mouth. <laughs> the air oh, coming okay. out of it. Yeah, I didn't know. What? He, I don't uh, like it at all. This I reser- I researched. Yeah. Found out non-binary. <laughs> he seems to no present shit. as a male. They present however you say. I don't but know. <laughs> don't let this fool you. <laughs> non. Do you like your, Do you like your nips tweaked? I mean, ah! I, I don't know. A little Wait, bit what fine. trans mask are you wearing? Why is trans mask? What is that? Transmasculine? Oh, trans mask. Yeah. Um, Josh, do you like having this under your nipples? I, I don't. I actually up. am uh, against nipple play on myself. Yeah, it's, it I'm hurts. not into I'm it. Not, it. They're too sensitive. You know? I'm not into it. This guy really no, fucking works. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I mean, he's got some. He's got some dead nerve. By the way, how do you enough. feel about seeing uh, uh, Robert? Yeah, using the iPhone. I'm so excited. I was <laughs> I was scared uh, when his Instagram went away. I'm I talked to too. him this past weekend. There was a power outage in New York City, so I called to check on make sure he was okay. Good. In the power outage, he was, and then his Instagram disappeared, and I was concerned. And then he resurfaced on YouTube, and he's using the phone, and I think he's thriving. He's wearing the shirts. But no explanation as to what happened to the Instagram. I think he's in Instagram jail, but we'll so uh, can we? We'll find this, out. this is a perfect mm. segue. Um, he may be in Instagram jail. We mentioned that who we featured on our show, Feet by K with three <laughs> E's mm-hmm. for a triple dose of them feet. She uh, was kicked off Instagram, created huh. a backup Instagram account, had that taken away, then came back to it. Um, and then we were mentioning that she's on Twitter, Feet by K. Mm-hmm. And then you were like, you know what? I don't know if Twitter's the right place either. I said, what do you mean? What? Yeah, see, the thing is with all of these, with both Instagram and Twitter, they don't have the exact same policies when it comes to terms of service and things like that and uh, having these types of accounts, but they operate in a way where if someone complains about you, then they look into it. And that is the only time that they look into an account. So it takes someone flagging you, essentially. So if you have a person who's out to get you, right. sounds like this woman did, and you're updating, you're, you're making a new profile and you're connecting your contacts and things like that. I also noticed some women out there, I'll get into this later, uh, connecting their contacts on their phone to their feed account. That's a no-no unless you mm. don't care So what that you, your boss's daughter or whatever comes across here. Wait, mm. explain that again. What do you You know say? how you can sync your contacts on Instagram when you create a profile so that it can notify people that you might know that you exist and they can add you then oh, really? oh my so god so they're doing it with their fetish accounts yes <laughs> bad idea yeah that's not good it's uh not a good idea no i mean but, unless you want to get i mean hey maybe you're just a freak and you want it out you want it out there that's fine there, too right. that's a that's a lane to go down <laughs> but you know? what do you okay so we understand like so somebody could complain about one of the feed accounts. Yes. What, how is that a violation? Though? <laughs> was, was that a violation? I think way? it's because of the solicitation. Okay. Um, but I, I'm not certain and for how Robert, they worded there. Robert, you think it's probably because well. of his lives, right? Because his, his feed, even though it's kind of male erotic, I don't know that he actually, he doesn't post nudity in his feed. Right. It's in the lives and there I, is I, yeah. some nudity in those. I'm going to uh, go what for kind the of nudity? lives. What kind of, what All of it. About? I mean, the nudist, the nudist of nudity, the limits yeah. that you can read. I mean, his. And then there's some urine. Yeah. He's drinking piss. The piss drinking is probably a violation of the community guidelines. I'm I think guessing. it's more about his dick being out probably. Sure. Yeah. That would probably do yeah. it. Okay. Well, you can't so, put your dick out on YouTube either. So I no. worry that he's going to get pulled sooner or later. I think he might yeah. for some reason know for some some reason about YouTube being not friendly with that. I, I don't mean, know. what medium would you suggest that Robert That's, Paul Champagne or all these go people? To? Right? Well, let me tell you. Yeah, there is. We were, by the way, before you get into this. Yeah, we were casually talking about this 
the other day before doing a show <laughs> and Josh started to lecture us I know about where this should go I well know. what you need to do <laughs> Is there are <laughs> sites such as many vids, only fans, <laughs> girlfund.com, sites like this where an amateur or a professional, either way, it doesn't matter your level of experience, yep. mm-hmm. they can go and you can create an account. And on there, you can do whatever you want. You can keep things private. People can pay monthly memberships. You can also have people uh, pay you for custom content. Which sounds like a win for so, but you cited specifically the fans one, right? OnlyFans is one that's used pretty predominantly uh, when it comes to adult uh, actresses and uh, and your run of the mill whore. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> everyone from that to that is using. Now it. wait a minute. Yeah. I mean these but are working these, girls. We well, were, no, yes, but we were whore, encouraging right? these panty sellers and everything to. to I do think it. you think OnlyFans is the way to go. If you are starting to deal in a mass quantity and your uh, base is growing and you're starting to have a bit more revenue come in, it's best to start an OnlyFans account uh, because then you can keep your revenue all in one place, you know? What and then you, you can use your socials to promote your OnlyFans uh-huh. account. You can put up teases and yep. things like that so yep. you're not in violation of the terms. Uh, and also you can get people to connect with you on that. You know? How many people do you need? How many fans do you need to start like a members Even one. only? Even one. Okay. One other thing though, you also, you made a great point when we were talking about this, about the verbiage uh, for a yes, Yes. Could, could you reshare that? Yes. Uh, <laughs> so when you're creating your brand, mm-hmm. you want uh, the type of verg- verbiage that would attract the clientele that you're looking to, to you know, attract, right? So... If you want a high-end clientele, maybe your top tier, big fish, so to speak. Mm-hmm. You're trying to get a, just maybe four or five of those big fish, you know, so they could spend a lot of money on you. You want to use words like uh, worn or slightly used, things like that. Or mm. soiled? Well, soiled <laughs> is a different type of gentleman who okay. would be into that. What's the soiled guy like? That guy is a little lower level. You might not get as much money out of him now, in one shot. How did we know this? Wait a minute. Now, hold on. I would think that soiled would be more desirable. If you're looking for just worn or gently used. But it's all but about, soil, again, it's all about the words. But they all, Soil implies a lot of use, which would, might be more desirable. But I'd I say. also think that soiled is a lot, slightly more sophisticated word. So I would, oh. I would have imagined that that attracts the higher clientele. No, you no. see... Soiled is indicating that you are uh, maybe urinating oh, in them. Not or, just regular. Uh, oh, maybe you have fuck. some just other lady juices yeah. of maybe some poopy. Ooh. <laughs> you know, whatever. I mean, you can go hog wild I, when it comes to soiled. I bet just, used or gently worn is like a jog. Oh, uh, I gotcha. maybe you ah. uh, maybe you're running an errands in the grocery store. You're farting a little. Far, a little now, bit of farting. If if I were to go um, in the panty world, branding yeah. wise, I would have different categories. Like this is my office job, nine to five pair. This is my gym pair. Mm-hmm. Uh, these are these my. Are, this is great ideas. These yeah, are great. like uh, a, a day at the beach. Yup, these are all fantastic. See, and they can all have stories behind them. That's why you're a businesswoman, Christina. You yeah. understand the facets. And I'm not expecting everybody to have the acumen that you do for... But I'm giving the suggestions to whoever wants. Right. No, that's great tips. And I'm saying start small, though. You know, find who's into you and what type of person they are and cater to your base out of the gate just to get some money in, you know? And then you can expand on ideas once you have that Mm. Once you have that income, you know, because then you have to fund, you know, some women, they think I got to buy the sexiest lingerie. Oh, to no, sell. no, I, no, no, I no, no, no. Yeah. Go to Target, buy a bag of cotton stuff. Yeah. Uh, go on a few jogs, you know, and then pop them into a seal that shit up and pop them out in the mail, you know? Yeah. Like I would do um, one hour of Pilates underwear. Mm-hmm. And that's another one. Like uh, I went to the mall in these. And sorry, I don't mean to take up all the time with this but i uh i think another thing people are skittish about is mailing their panties they think it's a crime Uh, a way to do that is to uh maybe you hire a a gentleman in your life or something maybe you have a a guy that can be like your security almost you set up a rendezvous point and you meet up and you just do a a hand-to-hand exchange you know like a drop-off section maybe you meet up at a lowe's is it illegal though to mail them i you know i'm not gonna say it's illegal Mm -hmm. because i don't know Okay. Uh, and we like to at my in my aggregating company, we like to try and 
uh, not say that we're you know f- going against the law. You know, right? But you so, are a full service aggregator. Oh yes, yes. And any so people, of these, anybody who wants advice, tips, let me know. I will gladly on take a this. look at your business yeah, model and yeah. give you just tweaks and ideas to to figure out I where you're going you, wrong. That is very kind of you. Oh, I, I and mean, I have to just give back, you know? Yeah, you do. Have All to the women back. out there who are attempting to make me come, I would like to provide <laughs> them with a service as well. Look and how dark his nipple is. Doesn't that bother That's because he's fucking with it all the de- <laughs> damn time. He's slapping it and pulling on it. And it's got no feeling left in it. It's blue. It's a dead... That's like a dead body. His <laughs> nipple. His nip is warm. I got, it looks I like mean, it is floating in a river. Are you a little turned on by it? No. <laughs> I don't even like when girls do that when they're just like I don't either pulling on their shit. It's like, do you yeah, even feel anything? On like, it? and in pornos and stuff, I'm not a fan either. No, well, you know, either. this is a perfect segue. So we've never had anybody else join us for it. But Josh, are you ready to get into some of Christina's favorite videos? Oh, I would Bitch love it. Looking for me. Bitch, here I go. All right. Yes. Yes. Um, the get, TikTok it's, continue. It's time to get TikTarded. I've muted her conversation on texts, so this is these are all surprised to me. Great. <laughs> Let's get TikTarded. Okay. Let's get TikTarded. Okay. All right. I think that's. I think TikTarded kind of. It it goes against uh, the TikTok t- whole reason for coming up with. Yeah. It does. <laughs> does. Kind of. Yeah. Puts what? it right on the nose. I think, yeah. You know? I don't like. I like it. All right. Like on the nose. Here we go. Call me crazy. Hi, this is Abe Screech with an important question. Do you ever worry that you're retarded and no one is telling you? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's true. I have had that fear. I have had that fear. I've had the fear a lot. Yeah, but like where you're just in a world, I've, a simulation yeah. where you think like maybe all the TikTok people are smart and I'm TikTok. <laughs> yeah. I I wonder that here a lot. I'll hear what I say, and I'm like, I'm. So surely. you saw this just on your feed? You're yeah, d- this was just this morning. I was so lucky. I was so blessed. This is Abe Screes with an important question: Do you ever worry that you're <laughs> retarded and no one is telling you? Well, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. How much do you love this one? That one, I got to tell you, it's, fuck, I'm starting to like TikTok. Yeah. I know. <laughs> this one's pretty amazing. I, re- I mean, that that has me shook because I've yeah. ridden the bus before. <laughs> and you got a guy on the bus who's like, <laughs> and then he just knows which stop is his. He's like, Bing! and I don't know where I'm going. I'm on there like Googling. <laughs> and I'm like, maybe he's, maybe I'm the TikTok. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, princess, you got oh, popcorn? for fuck's sake with this guy. <laughs> That's good. Because I got the movies. Let's do this. This is the weirdest fucking lane. <laughs> I don't like it at all. I know. It's so funny that he thinks yeah. he's See like... The and he's da- shaking his head. That's how everybody feels. He thinks he's like the, the daddy. Yeah. Well, that's the whole point. That's his this daddy is this is cosplay. Yeah, this is daddy and princess or daddy and littles. Can you stop play. including this guy? I really don't like anything about what he's doing. Anything. I but don't you want to see the offer? Let's no. see it again. He we got, missed it again. Oh fuck. <sighs> Do you get daddy vibes from that guy? No. Hey no. princess, you got the popcorn? Ugh. That's good. Because I got the movies. Let's do this. Ugh. Yeah, and he's got like all children's movies. It's like finding Nemo. <laughs> he does. It's so gross. It's so weird. It's so disturbing. <laughs> oh god, I don't get it? His forehead. Do you think he knows these, how big it you is? You know what? These people need to have kids, and they'll get over this fetish real fucking. Yeah, quick. I don't. I'm really? Not I, don't I have know. seen it. I've seen people with. Hey y'all, <laughs> Remy needs your help in a bad way. I've tried Tom's. I've tried baking soda and hot water. What gets rid of heart burn? I feel like I'm going to die. Can somebody please help me out? Thank you. <laughs> yes, I finally got you on my side. Now you get it? No. It's so fun. TikTok is the best. What's weirder? Gangbangers going on TikTok to, yeah. to, so, whoa. to shout out to other gangbangers or people seeking medical advice on TikTok? Holy it's all shit. weird. 
It just uh, take Tom's, you dumb bitch. I mean, you never heard of Tom's. Uh, what the fuck, man? So <laughs> <laughs> I think she's got some gender stuff, don't you? No. <laughs> no. She knows what she is. Do you identify? She has a lifetime, a lifetime of riding it hard. Oh, okay? yeah. oh yeah. This is like, yeah, if you're right. like, what's your weekend like? She's like, remember how hard you partied those four years in college? I did that on Saturday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, oh, she's yeah. got like fucking yeah. oe and her rascal yeah oh, oh yeah, yeah homie. that voice you got to yeah. earn that voice oh yeah you know that doesn't just it's not given to you to be like i got real bad hard <laughs> like <laughs> you you really got to work for that yeah she doesn't tell you how many packs she smoked before she got the heartburn no. either. how devastated would you be mm -hmm. if you found out the only woman that could make you come <laughs> i've gone this long without coming i will just finish it off but, but wait but josh real yeah. talk Let's say she's the one. She's like the Neo who can. I don't need to marry the one. <laughs> no, no. But I mean, what no, if like, what if it's that. the best sex of your life? Yeah, and it's with her. It's with her. I mean, I would admit it. I'd be like, well, I mean, she ain't much to look at, but geez, Louise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She really pushes the buttons. She yeah. knows and, what's up. And you would be okay with her making you come. Oh, what if you bring her? <laughs> Try to hold on. <laughs> but here's here's the deal. What if you bring her to like your sex things? Like you hook up with some hot chick, and then you're like. Hold on, Granny like has swingers? to come in and finish it off. No, but you have to tell like, him, I can hey, only can I come with this you? lady. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you bring her in at the very end. She's like my fleshlight? Yeah. Ah, I man, wonder if it, would be a, it would be a tough existence, I'll say that. Yeah. What if you're, what if what really turns you on, you don't even know yet, and it's, it's actually like a <laughs> super aggro bitch who like fucking punches you, and you're like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> she like, hold she's great. super hot, she holds you down fucks you <laughs> makes you come if you don't come she starts choking you and slapping you i've well i i know that that's not the case because i've been in those <laughs> dynamics before you have where i mean like i've had girls who are so much bigger than me in terms of height yeah not necessarily weight but like in terms of like they could pick me up by my ankles and suck my dick do you know what i'm saying yeah. like that's how tall they are compared to me jesus and it's so i don't understand how they're attracted to me because i am so very much not attracted to them like when i'm <laughs> holding hands with you and you are like holding my fist in your entire hand <laughs> and it's like i'm a you've been with women like this yeah dude and it's weird it's not fun what's the me. tallest woman you've been with like six three or something like a six, six three yeah, Damn. Dude. super tall like to the point where i was i felt like a child was she a volleyball player uh something like basketball something like that how tall are you i'm like five five hmm. jesus christ yeah do you ever worry that you're retarded and no one is telling you? <laughs> Every day. Every fucking day. <laughs> my nanner, my nanner, my nanner. He's back. Vance Ranny. He's back. Vance Ranny. Okay. Yeah. This is another okay, one. Okay, I'm like, talking to you later. You I'm like going to eat it now. No. Okay, bye. What do you notice what? about his dinner? I don't know what, what do that is, notice? but I got to tell you, I'm constantly impressed that he's got such a varying amount of meals that yeah. he always has. He's got a great diet. I think it's another one we could lose from the feed. No, I like I'm having my lunch. I'm having my dinner. Here's the thing. He's having breakfast for dinner. Those are pancakes and eggs. Did you are notice they? that, Tom? And breakfast is for breakfast time only. We know that's a rule. Yeah. Are those breakfast, eggs? Those are pancakes and eggs. Oh, Okay. Does he, do you think he cooks these, all of these? Yeah, that's why he's, either he, go, either he goes to a diner, I think it looks more like diner food. You should convince him to do a cooking show outside of TikTok. I would love, I would love it. I would love it. Yes, this is what I'm eating, mustard. I have a headache, so eating mustard. Cool. I have a bad headache. That's why you drink. That's why you eat the mustard, right? Of course. Now Ellis, our son, our three-year-old, loves this mustard-eating lady. That's the only one I let him. Oh, watch. so you show the children only the TikToks. once. Only okay. once. <laughs> he he happened to be on, on my phone with me as we were doing faces on Instagram, no. and I had the lady up, and he liked her. He goes, "Mustard lady, mustard lady." I would say that if <laughs> if you get headaches and your first thought is to eat mustard, then maybe. Do you ever worry that you're retarded? <laughs> yeah. So then you must be a TikTok. It's the new. <laughs> it's Christina's Jeff Foxworthy. If you are eating mustard when you have a headache, you must be a TikTok. You might be a TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't stop talking about your buffalo burger, you might be a TikTok. <laughs> if you make a meal and you put it on a plate to show people you're about to eat it, you might be a TikTok. <laughs>
<laughs> if you ask yourself, are you retarded, and no one's telling you, you might be a TikTok. <laughs> if you can't solve the mystery of heartburn after 55 years on this planet, you might be a TikTok. If you're a blood and you're getting <laughs> called out by Crips on whether or not you're really about that life, you might be a TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Please make Zoom. a promo of the TikTok segments with using that. Tom doing all those. Uh, and you might Josh be a doing TikTok. All those. You That's might great, be a TikTok. Josh. Is this a tip though? I mean, should we try mustard when we have headaches? Now? Uh, definitely. I'm gonna. I well, guess I'll tell you. This is doctor she, approved. You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> she eats mustard a lot. Oh, there's no reason. She since you're it. here, yeah. we discussed it briefly. Mm. Do you think? I think so. Josh is doing a big weekend. He's doing, now he's doing, he's doing Seattle, now adding Portland and Tacoma. That's right. He should fly Jackie from Canada. I think we're going to To those shows, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I think you should. It's, uh, Seattle's been on sale, Chop Suey on the 5th of September, and now we've added Tacoma on the 6th at Alma Mater, and then on the 8th, a Sunday in Portland at Mississippi Studios. Those are the venues. That's very exciting. They're on sale now. Uh, You can get them on my Instagram or my Facebook. My Twitter, whichever you prefer. Oh, okay. J, J yeah. underscore Potter, is that both? Yes, and uh, Josh underscore Potter on Instagram. You got to go to the shows, but I'm just saying, I mean, put it out, you can pick the whatever city, but I thought that was a good weekend. Uh, Dope. Yeah, no, yeah. That, that's a great a great idea, and we will uh, we will do that, and I am going to uh, fortify myself so I can bring the heat with Jackie. What does that mean? I'm going to uh, pharmaceutically prepare Oh, you're you're you said you you took this for a spin the other day. Yeah, what I am pro dick pill game for every guy out there. I don't care if your dick works. I don't care if it doesn't work. Everyone should be doing it for yeah. and you know, I know you said I don't need them. Yeah. It's not about need. Tom doesn't. I don't think it's Tom not about need. Th- it, did, did Mark McGuire need to break Roger Maris's record for home runs? No. So you're taking the dick pills and you came in here all jazzed up. The other yeah. Day. So what, I mean. It's fun to hit dingers. That's the point of this. You got to take them so that you can just rock it out. And it it makes you feel like a fucking million bucks. I was walking the next day. I was hearing Bee Gees in my head. I was whistling. I shot a three. You know, it was fucking great. But But did you shoot? No, I didn't come, unfortunately. But but, it works. But it works in terms of, I mean, you can think about baseball you could think about the pledge of allegiance it doesn't matter your dick is like i got you dude. so you're rock wow. hard yes and you gave it to this chick gave it to how long wow. did your session last because since you don't finish hour plus you fucked her for an hour yes. plus Jesus. Jeez, Louise. and i'm not i'm not trying to like this isn't a brag i'm talking it's it's not me it's the pharmaceutical no but like yeah. it, wow. but, but you don't finish with or without pharmaceuticals right so. right 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 so couldn't you do that without the pharmaceuticals well i mean it just is the boner length Oh, the boner. Like lane. after a while, when you don't come, you know, you can go and go, and then after a while, like you get kind of like, yeah, well, I'm done. done. This I'm is done, over. Yeah. yeah, this isn't gonna. But happen. the pharmaceutical makes you. Yeah, that way I can like my brain can take a break, but my dick is like, I got this. So you're letting whoever it comes into your life know that. Hey, I don't tell them. I know, but we're oh. letting them know right now. Oh no, yes. What I mean, sure. You can, yeah, you can get that extra rock hard. It's stuff. more. I'm more just telling the gentleman out there. Don't have like these. I'm nervous. I don't want to buy it at the store. They're going to think my dick doesn't work. It's like, let them think whatever they want. They work at Rite Aid. Who cares? You know what I mean? Like, you're going to fucking house a lady later. (laughs) House a lady. (laughs) Yeah. Wait, I had a question for you. I forget it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What prompted you mm -hmm, to to try try it? it? Yeah, like, what happened that you decided? Well, I connected with a woman who I wanted to really impress in that regard. So I was like, you know what? I hear these things back and forth. I'm getting older, you know? I don't have the uh, necessarily the stamina I once did. The what? Stamina. No, it's stamina. stamina. I can't even say it the right way if well, I try. Well, it's stamina. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, stamina aside, we yes. got to get to this. So. Oh, I like this. I the 80s. I don't I'm know. going to be in Wilkes-Barre, PA. Isn't that Wilkes Bar? Nope. <laughs> I thought it was Wilkes Bar. <laughs> Car, like cardio bar? You might be a TikTok. You <laughs> <laughs> I totally am, 100%. Uh, Terrytown, August 7th. August 8th, Albany, New York. Foxwoods, uh, August 9th. And Hampton Beach, two shows, August 
10th, Burlington, Vermont, the 11th. Then I go to Canada, and I'm doing London, Ontario, then two shows in Toronto. Toronto. Two in Winnipeg, two in Vancouver. That's the 15th, 16th, 17th. The late shows have tickets available. And then one show, the 18th, in Calgary. And then I'm... uh, then in Tennessee, I'm in Memphis and Knoxville, Greenville, Charleston, South Carolina, Durham, North Carolina, and Charlottesville. All tickets are at TomSegura.com slash tour, including the, uh, well, the rest of the tour, the European dates. Check them out. We just added some shows um, in December. Gene, what about you? Gene, August 2nd and 3rd, I'm in Shark Lake Titties, Utah at Wise Guys. What? Oh, it's right there! Again, August 2nd, 3rd, Salt Lake City, Utah. September 5th, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. September 6th, Chicago, Illinois. September 7th, Boston, Massachusetts. October 3rd, 3rd, 5th, Nashville, Tennessee. November 22nd, Seattle, Washington. November 23rd, Portland, Oregon. I would not do that read again, whatever you were doing there. I like it. It's fun. You, uh, you always tell me I take too long. Is that, uh, 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 you do it. September 5th, Milwaukee, Chicago, Boston, October 8th. <laughs> Tickets are Christina P. Online. Also, I have a brand new podcast called Where My Mom's At. That's right. Uh, it is a podcast by moms and for real moms. I talk all things mom. I do mom fails, embarrassing moments, all kinds of stuff. Go to my YouTube channel. That's the Christina P. YouTube channel. The show drops Mondays at noon. You can watch it on YouTube. Download it wherever podcasts are downloaded. Send me your mom fails, emails, voicemails, where my mom's at, at gmail.com. Check out my two specials on Netflix. Yeah, Mother Inferior. Mother Inferior and the Degenerates. Uh, and a reminder that this YouTube channel, your mom's house podcast YouTube channel, we've got a bunch of podcasts now on the channel. Um, by the way, one thing we're going to shift pretty soon is that audio and video are going to start dropping at the same time. That means Wednesdays at noon. It's going to happen in a few weeks, but we figured we'd prepare you as much as we can for that. Um, It just makes more sense for us to do it that way now. But uh, I do a podcast now bi-weekly with uh, Burt Kreischer called Two Bears, One Cave. Dr. Drew is here every week doing Dr. Drew After Dark. Ryan Sickler is here every week doing The Honeydew. And um, of course, this show... And uh, yeah, so check it out. Uh, you can download wherever you download podcasts, or you can watch it right here on your mom's house podcast YouTube channel. Uh, stay tuned. We'll have our guest here in just a moment. <laughs> We're now joined by a very, very talented, very funny comedian, actress, Nicole Byer. Thank hey. you very much for yay, coming yay. here. Thank you so much for having me. We're so excited. I'm uh, excited. First of all, uh, when are black people coming out with Band-Aids? I don't know, not soon enough, but I did find them on Amazon. You did? Yes. Oh, so they exist. It's a very specific company called True Colors. Yeah. And then on the packaging, it says uh, there's diversity and healing, which... Uh, That's a great tagline. <laughs> wow. It made me laugh really hard. It's a great tag, But also, like, I think every entrepreneur out there is like, what the fuck? Like, how is this not being tapped into? Yeah, I don't know why they're not readily available everywhere you go. Right, because basically... <laughs> Band-Aid companies have been like, so white people get cut. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's it. That's or what happens. children. I'm yeah. wearing a Snoopy Band-Aid. Right. Sno- yeah. I, ha- I wear them all the time. For a child. I wear yeah. Nemo ones, mm-hmm. Mickey ones. I'm, our kids are always getting... <laughs> but it's true. It's like they, they sell them primarily in different shades of white tones. Yeah. You get like, uh, <laughs> like pale kind of, to tan. Yeah. That's yeah. it. It's kind mm-hmm. of... It's actually like now that we discussed it, it's fucking rude is what it is. Maybe Rihanna will come out with like the <gasps> Fenty Band-Aid that's line. That's true. That'd be great. I, I would buy it. I would buy yeah. it. I would buy it too, because <laughs> it's real. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It also seems like um, I bet you at Fenty it's going to be a pretty penny. I oh, very be. expensive. It'd be like eighty dollar band aids, and, and people I would be like, "What's right. my money?" <laughs> yeah, I would do it. Like, Rihanna, just take it all, dude. I right away. Um, do you? Because she watches like every fucking baking show. And yeah, I feel like huge fan. Do you have Thank you watched? You. Have mm. Have you watched her show? Wait, sorry. What's it called? Uh, just oh, make sure. See, Wait, I no, my horn. I think I have. Tell her. It's called Nailed It. Oh, my God. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> obviously. Yes, I have. And that's where it's d- bad. Yeah. The baking's yes. bad. It's the best of the worst. Yes. That's yes. her show. Duh. Oh, my gosh. She didn't even yeah. put it together. I'm sorry. I knew I'm, it. I'm a mom. I love it. I that's have different awesome. hair on the show. Yeah. So you're not being racist by saying we all look alike. <laughs> 
So I thoroughly enjoy that you've seen it, but didn't recognize me in person. Oh, can you pull well, her up she, uh, so I can find The thing is that like every time I walk I in a room, I love that show. I, there's just like another uh, cake or mm-hmm. bread but hers on a table. Different. Oh yes. yes! Oh my god, Durr. Yep. You're right. Your hair is totally different. Yeah, I like to switch it up. Yeah, it's so beautiful. But you know who doesn't get tricked? Children. Oh, they, they, they know, know my voice. Oh right. So if I go to Target, they'll be like, "She's here." Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't love kids. No. No, they're very <laughs> sticky. They like to scream at you. Some of them are good, but some yeah. of them meet you and then don't have anything to say to you. Oh yeah. right. And you're just like staring at this child. What wondering. age kid is like doing this? Do you know? Like, is it like seven, eight? It's really hard when they're walking. I don't know the age. Yeah, yeah. It could be three or like seven. I don't know. <laughs> That's true. But I guess when they talk good, seven. Yeah. Well, <laughs> when they have personality. Yeah. When they're stoked to see you, it's uh-huh. probably like that, right? Yeah. If they're re- I mean, a three year old would be like, oh, <laughs> and like would, wouldn't probably really be wouldn't able to articulate what three you're from. Connect. Yeah, three two, would get. two little white boys in Tacoma brought me flowers to my show. Aww. Really? Yeah, but I was in the green room and they didn't come get me to meet from them. From Nailed It? Like yeah. It, that's they what they like, yeah. Wow. They liked me and so they brought me little flowers. Like, I didn't what? know that um, uh, special needs kids love roller coasters. Oh. What? Yeah. That's, Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah. Bert told me that. Bert hosted. Okay. He, I'm serious. Oh, okay. no, no. He, well, he hosted a show called uh, Bert the Conqueror mm-hmm. on Travel Channel, and they put him on all. T- he would always go to theme parks. Uh huh. He was like, dude, every time I'm in an airport or like walking in, in a city and there's like near a school, mm-hmm. it's always like, the, you know, special needs kids mm-hmm. that connect with that. And I'm like, why? He's like, apparently it's big. You know how they do like animal therapy for yeah. certain he's like roller coasters are like a big outlet mm-hmm. for certain not obviously all special well, needs kids, i think it makes sense ones. because i feel like a lot of people treat special needs kids with like gloves they uh-huh. like treat them so delicately right so i think a roller coaster kind of that's a good gives point them what they need where a little they get jostle to like, of real life yeah and you yeah. get to like let free a little bit yeah that's uh, I think that or makes sense. What else? I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Or also, maybe they see Bert and they're like, "Oh, it's one of us," and then they go like, you know, down that road. You know what I mean? Maybe that could be a thing too. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Great. So I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yay. Uh, but no, Tom mentioned that I do love my baking shows, and I do. And I was just sitting here thinking, like, why is everybody so obsessed with baking shows in general? Like, why do we? Why do I love it? And why do I love Nailed It when it's <laughs> bad? You I, know? Well, Nailed It specifically, I think it's just like, oh, I could do better than that. That's yeah. Or you're like, well, the people are failing. That means I can fail too. Yeah. So I think it's like both of those things. But baking shows are, it's a, uh, it's redundant. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, what is it? It's like a schedule. It's a routine. Right. You're watching the same thing over and over and over again. And people, I think, like routine. Yeah. A hundred percent. Well, that's why they like sitcom. Yes. That's why Friends is like the biggest show mm-hmm. that ever was. You know Dude. what? By the end of the day, everything is familiar. It's the mm-hmm. same shit. But with the British baking show, it, it was, you know, this Did is... Did you proof it? <laughs> it's not proof. It's got the soggy bottom. <laughs> but what you love about the, the British baking show is that, you know, it is like the housewife from Surrey mm-hmm. or whatever. And, you know, she's bored by day, but she can bake. And this is her chance to shine. Mm-hmm. Can she do it under pressure? Yeah, everyone's so nice. All the young bloke from down south, oh. Oh my God. He bakes too. He just blew oh, out everybody. Sorry, ears. sorry, guys. Was the young sorry, bloke everybody. deaf? And sorry, I said. How many Jeez. times do I got to apologize? Yep, yep. I don't know. I enjoyed your loudness. Thank yeah. you. I like loud people. Really? Yes. Yeah, you do. I do. Not in like a restaurant where like it's that a man droning on and on about nothing, and this it's always woman's a man. like, I could be anywhere else. Oh, yeah. And he's like, Listen, if you make a taco, the way you make a taco, you're like, What are you ever talking about? Yeah. But like loud people having fun, I like that. Yeah, having fun is a is a big thing, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like any any fun is contagious. So when you do see someone genuinely having mm-hmm. a good time, I don't know. Sometimes people oh, get mad yeah. though. I just went to a restaurant with a. Uh, five of my dear friends in Portland and I told them that it was all of our birthdays uh, <laughs> and she was like it can't possibly be all of your birthdays and we're like birthday club uh, we were very loud and uh, the people next to us left or yeah. they like moved to a, oh, the yeah, opposite yeah. end of the oh, restaurant yeah, I would definitely. What do you, what's your take on this is this a fun guy oh or is God. this no a, I turned uh, down my headphones already here uh, we go this is a real guy <laughs> yeah. I love him already yeah. I have Uh-oh. no idea who he is but I okay. love him uh oh oh 
All right. Technical difficulties, yep, guys. It's all good. Let's see. Turn down. You wanted everybody. You positive today? You better get out there. <laughs> I only started 7 a.m., man. Hey, listen. Cheers, everybody. This shit's better than morning coffee. I'm telling you right now. Hey, you man, You see Big Red in the background? <laughs> yeah, man. I know I told you. I got the fucking visine. I got the red out. But I think she did some shit to my orange juice because I was fucking scratching the door 6 a.m. this morning. I'm like, yo, Big Red, come out. All right, man. We're at the beach. We're having a good time. Corona is the way. Yo, there was a pot of dolphins went flying by me. You'll see you later. Oh, shit. I had to swim in because they think I'm, I swim so gracefully and strong. They think I'm part of the pot. All right, baby. Oh Rock God. and roll today. woo Yeah. I love him. You love him? I Guess think what? he's great. He owns a dry cleaning business. <laughs> Does he really? Yes. In L.A.? Nope. In New oh, York. Dang. In the Bronx. I genuinely love him. I think he's great. He makes me shut down emotionally. Really? He really yeah, had I'm an like, effect on her. Oh, I really To me, really I think him. was that I saw, <laughs> I saw how much available. he upset her, and then that was exciting to me. So that I was like, I really like this guy. You know, I just think he's Thanks. got a lot of energy. <laughs> yes, and yes, he's he does. Positive. Very. Po- I like positivity. Yes. He's shitting on anybody? No, no. he's the whole thing. He's not. He calls himself Mister Positive. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I, like Corona really missed the boat. They should have him do commercials. Dude, yes. they might. Right? This now, guy. do you date high energy guys? Is that what you're looking for? I'm not looking for a high energy guy. Gotcha. I don't need someone to compete with my energy. Right. I just oh, okay. need someone who enjoys my energy. Yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. What is your is um like guys in the past, the guys you who you've clicked with, are they all is it a type energy wise? Or is um, it always like is it broad spectrum you know it's broad yeah i go from like high energy to like not super low energy i don't like super low energy but like medium to high energy okay. yeah medium to high wow yeah see i'm pretty you think i'm pretty you're practically dead <laughs> <laughs> tom's energy is like but i like that that's yeah, what attracts me I'm it like, pops yeah, like when you laugh you have a real twinkle in your eye oh yeah. thanks so that's how i know you're not dead that's how yeah, yeah, yeah 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 my heart rate wouldn't tell you anything <laughs> no. it's barely there I, I I went to a, a doctor where he was like Jesus, and um, you know, because my heart. But just rate, upon arrival, he was yeah, like, he Jesus. looked at me. He's like, "You're not good. You're not healthy <laughs> you're not, at all. You're not good." But then they 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 you know they took my heart rate and it was it was in the high 30s, mm-hmm. you know, like 39, 38 beats per minute, which is pretty low. Oh, like it's to some people it's astonishingly low. Mm-hmm. And then they were like, you know, the only people that have this kind of heart rate are like marathon runners. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And they're like, not with you. It's not cool. <laughs> and I was like, all right. <laughs> but doesn't that mean you're in good shape? Yeah. Well, he's mm-hmm. like, it's usually aligned with someone in good shape. But he goes, I'm guessing it's not. That's not the case with you. <laughs> and then he sent me to get like a hundred heart tests done. And? And they were like, yeah, you just have like a strong heart. And uh, So yeah. you're healthy. I guess. Yeah. Decent, yeah. Yeah. yeah totally. That's great. Now, yeah. do you eat a lot of sweet treats? Um, how, how, I always wonder that about these baking shows like are you eating it's all, this all stuff it's all there around? for you I right know. I, and isn't I, like some pro always being like it should taste like this and you're like this is good. no no we don't get to taste the cakes that this woman charity makes because oh. they sit out for days oh so right they like wouldn't be good oh right right it's like set food you're never yeah. supposed to touch yeah, yeah. i got food poisoning eating set food once Ooh, did really? yes i did a commercial that was a it was a, a espn domino's commercial mm-hmm. so like a co-promoted thing and um that pizza was like on set not for days <laughs> mm-hmm. but for hours, for hours and hours and hours and then they're they like oh in this scene when they come by start like just eating this so it was oh, part of the no. shot and i got violently sick oh, that's when you dear. gotta say is this safe to eat can i have a fresh one i yeah. will delay the shot till you have one delivered but you know yeah. how when you're like 26 oh yeah when you're yeah. starting out you're just like oh i'll and do anything i'll you're eat like, shit can yeah. someone yeah can someone diarrhea <laughs> in my mouth and i'll eat that for you yeah if you oh don't my care gosh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so what's terrible. your career trajectory been have you always hosted stuff or what do you um you're a natural oh thank you yes my first job was girl code on mtv right? that was my yes. absolute that first fucking job. launched so many people right it did it yeah re- me just me peluso uh carly aquilino Alice Wutherland, uh, Charlemagne. I got. I feel it's, like got a lot of traction after it's being on insane this. Insane how Charlemagne now fucking exploded. You, you see where he's at, and then you go like, was he on Guy Code? Mm-hmm. Like that seemed like I don't know. I mean, I was already removed from the MTV audience. You know uh, how you're like a once you're like a hit a certain age, you're like, damn, watch mm-hmm. MTV. But I remember hitting the clubs mm-hmm. and seeing you guys and they're like, oh yeah, all the shows are sold out. I'm like, what? Oh yeah. And they're it's like, huge. yeah, they're yeah. on this show. Everything's sold out. I was like, it was wild. It Like there was no promotion. It was 
just it was shocking how quickly it took off uh and then I started doing stand up after that because colleges were like, come do stand up. And I was like, I can do improv. And they're like, absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> so then I had to learn how to do stand up. Like, my second show was 30 minutes with uh, Emily Heller at Rutgers University. I was like, you should close. You're good. She's like, they're here to see you. Uh-uh. And I was like, okay. And in that moment, I was like, so you oh, okay. closed? Yeah. And I did <gasps> 30 minutes, and Emily sat right on the ground, and she was like my little support person. Uh, she's so sweet. I love her. Um, and then, so she was just there, like cheering yeah, you on, yeah, just being like, "You're doing great." Like oh fifteen minutes. Wait, how passed. people don't realize like how crazy that is. It's insane for your second time. Yeah. So your first time, what'd you do? Five. I did like five, seven minutes <laughs> about my dead parents that didn't go well. <laughs> yeah. And your second time. And my second time was thirty minutes at Rutgers University. Jeez. And you learn how to do a little bit of crowd work to like fill time. Uh, but you had no polished bits. Nothing. No, no, not really. I had maybe like, looking back at it, if I would listen to it, I would say I probably had like five good minutes of stand up. Right. Out of 30 minutes, like five good minutes. But you made it work. Yeah. And then I just kind of worked backwards. So like I would go out, do these college shows, kind of do a shitty job. And then I would go to like the improv or like the Virgil or Nerd Mel and then like really work on these bits. Yeah. So then I would slowly build up like an actual good half hour. Well, it's cool because you were getting paid to figure out how to yeah. do it. Which oh, a great. lot of people do Most, not have that. Most, 99% of people don't have that. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people eat shit getting good. And I, yeah, I got to get paid to That's get good. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, it's a, it's a very weird way to get into it. But now I love it. And now I work very hard. And uh, I really, I love it. Stand-up is fun. Yeah, yeah really that's cool. Is. I like when people, you know what I mean? Everybody's always like in stand-up is like, ah, it's mm-hmm. fucking the drag and you're burned out. And you're like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's fun to be around people that want to have fun doing it. You know? Yeah, and I've learned, uh, so like my half hour came out in January and I went to a college in the middle of January and I did some of the bits from uh, my special and this girl was like, I really want to see new stuff. And I was like, well, I have to come up with new stuff. So then I did like two shows a night for like two weeks, got a new 30 minutes, and then was doing that for six months and was like, I don't like this. I rushed it. Yeah. I didn't like work on these bits. I don't love these bits. So then I threw out that half hour and now I'm working on a new half Isn't hour. That, it's crazy. It's man. crazy, but it's also so fun. It's fun. Yeah, it's and also, I feel like this era, the digital era, where everything is YouTube and streamed and mm-hmm. all that, that um, it's not a choice anymore whether or not to develop new stuff you have to it is it is that is a necessity you have to you have to do once it's somewhere you can't do it anymore (sighs) wait can i ask you because you mentioned it yes i didn't know are your parents both your parents died oh yes a long time Mm. ago uh i was 16 when my mom died and then 21 when my dad died that's terrible yeah it sucked it was uh those are like my formative years and then uh so young yeah and then my grandmother died when I was 18. It oh. was like, people kept dying at milestones, so I was like, I'm Damn. cursed. Then I went to the therapist. She's like, you're not cursed. They're just coincidences. She's like, your sister wasn't at these milestones. It's a coincidence. I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I could see how you'd start thinking that. Yeah. 16, 18, 21. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It's a lot of loss. Um, how yeah. did your mother die? My mother had a, uh, it's called deep deep pulmonary thrombosis i believe mm-hmm. so she had a blood clot in her leg that traveled to her heart that and shit, nobody knew that that's the thing is like that every time i've heard about that happening mm-hmm. it's always a surprise yeah no one knew no one knew and then my dad died of a massive heart attack oh. uh, and it's weird because like my mom was fat so it was like okay she's gonna die of heart disease my dad was like very fit and he died of heart disease so i was like ah, i'm probably gonna go of heart disease uh, so you know i live my life how i want yeah um and then let's see my grandmother died of cancer um then my godmom she died of cancer when i was 25. oh my and god then, yeah is uh did your mom uh hot. did she recently like fly or anything like that no when, no when she did no because i always hear about that happening too. nope like, nothing Jesus. it was like truly out of nowhere mm. The blood clot thing is no joke. Yeah, it's fucking wild. Yeah. Can they test you for that? No. What happens is like you have tightness in your chest uh, and then you take it upon yourself to go to the hospital and then they run some tests and then they can be like, oh, there's a blood clot in your leg. But if you don't go to the hospital at a certain reasonable amount of time, you'll probably die. (sighs) Man, how do you? I mean, that must have made you funny. (laughs) No, I'm serious because people who are funny, it's not Mm -hmm. because you had a great life growing up. Um, I mean, most of us, mm-hmm. I, I find. Think, uh, you do try to laugh through the pain. My sister's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she's sweet, but she's not like, 
she I asked her to do a live episode of my podcast when I was in Chicago and she truly was like I don't understand why anyone would want to listen to me and I was like all right Catherine you don't have to mm-hmm. um but I guess it made me funny because I would try to make her happy yeah I would try to make her laugh are you guys very close uh we're not super super close because we're very different so like i'm five seven she's five one i'm fat she's very very thin she i love makeup she doesn't wear any makeup she could not talk for days and <laughs> i i can't do that yeah, i yeah, love yeah. talking yeah yeah you know i need to get on a stage every night she's like if i never saw another person i'd die happy yeah <laughs> yes. you guys are like really polar opposites very very different my mm. mother used to say if like half of us like one, like one half from each person was a person. We'd be the perfect person. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How? What's your What's your age difference between a year two? and a half? I think it's called a Damn. Irish Damn. twin. Irish yes. twins. Yeah. We were just discussing that yeah. before you came here. How difficult that is uh, to pull off two pregnancies mm-hmm. in such a short time. Well, That's... I was an accident. Oh, no, you were a blessing. No, truly, I was an accident. <laughs> so my mom had a miscarriage before, I think two miscarriages before my sister, and then after oh. my sister told her she couldn't have any more kids. So I guess she and my dad started raw dogging, and then <laughs> I was like, ah, I'm a fighter, I'm a survive. <laughs> and then I was bored. Holy Damn. shit. Yeah. yeah. And then when my dad died, we found this huge economy-sized box of condoms, and I was like, I guess they were like, never again. Again. Yeah, <laughs> this one was too much. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> we don't want another one. Damn, damn, dude, that's wild. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I gotta tell you, you posted something that I've never connected with, and like that made me feel like so, just like, oh man, <laughs> I love this girl. <laughs> On Instagram, yeah. Oh, you told me about this. Yeah, yep, yeah. I this is fully great. broke a toilet right <laughs> out of the wall, dude. <gasps> first of all. I'm going to get you a trophy. <laughs> I'm going to get you a trophy. Thank because you. Because I know I've come close and I've, and I've always thought about what it must be. Like I've, I've had that uh-huh. thought. I've sat on ones where I'm like, this shit's about to go. Uh-huh. And then, so was this in a hotel? <laughs> no, this was five minutes before a show. <gasps> and <laughs> this is the best. And uh, so. It's I'm on not, her, by the way, if you're listening, it's on Nicole Byer's Instagram. It's on my Instagram. Which is just, it's Nicole Byer, <laughs> uh, B-Y-E-R. Okay, sorry. I, uh had just done a power hour mm-hmm. uh which was like a live episode of my friend john gabris's podcast where it's a shot of beer uh, every minute for 60 minutes and i was peeing and i was having the time of my life i was <laughs> kind of bouncing on it yeah. <laughs> like i was tempting fate yeah. uh and then all of a sudden it like i heard a and i was like what and then i was on the floor and i was truly airborne for a hot second and then like oh my, my knee slammed into the ground and then <gasps> you heard porcelain just shatter and i was Holy like cow. uh-oh and then i was covered in toilet water uh-huh. and then i posted on twitter it's a wider shot you can see my footsteps there's two footsteps away and then i turn around yeah and i remember going can i can i lie about this <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, that's the and, first thought right uh, can, I, can i say uh, someone else did it uh and it was like no i cannot lie about this also the toilet paper <laughs> yeah i noticed see? that yeah. you managed well, to wipe I I was wiping when how, it happened. Yeah, how much say. have you thought about in the moment and since then? Oh my what God. if I had just taken a huge shit? Oh, I would have oh. been crying. Yeah, yeah, it's totally oh, it different. It would have been so oh, upsetting. Yeah, that would have. I mean, I probably still would have posted it because there was like 15 people outside the door, so I truly couldn't lie about they, it. They right. must have heard. Yeah, oh, everyone heard, heard promotion, it. Yeah. Yeah. And you know how you like people walk with no purpose that's what happened when i opened the door yeah. i was like everyone just wants to know what happened yeah so i was like i broke a toilet and then uh Gabriel and my other friend mike mitchell looked in the bathroom they're like no you didn't we did it they were wasted oh, yeah. and i was like that's the kindest thing any Aww. any man's ever done for me it's so fucking amazing <laughs> it's it made me laugh really and then i had to get on stage and do a show but then and- you posted it which is awesome <laughs> yeah and it has forty-seven thousand <laughs> likes <laughs> Because like people like I think it's like a fear. Sometimes you sit on a toilet you're like this yes, could go at fear. any moment. But yes. isn't there something like spe- like when this is like an embarrassing moment, but when mm-hmm. we like own embarrassing moments and actually like kind of put it out there. Yeah. That like it it connects you more to other people. Like as soon as I saw this, I was like, I love this girl. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like I love that you uh-huh. were like, I just broke a toilet. I just thought it was well, awesome. Well, I just the picture made me laugh. <laughs> so hard yeah so i was like i can't not share this with people <laughs> it's amazing and it truly tells the story like it obviously, does. i was wiping you're wiping i was airborne i released oh. the toilet paper uh, <laughs> and then oh after it, i like i was on the floor i was like oh i have to turn off the water so it doesn't flood and <laughs> so then i turned off the water 
<laughs> so then I was like, oh, I guess I'm good in an emergency. Yeah, you're practical because I, mm-hmm. our, a son, our, our son, our older one, just put a bunch of toys down the toilet. Mm. Fuck, it's going to cost mm-hmm. a fortune to fix. I didn't tell you that part. I like that he, um, he actually said, we're like, why isn't this touch this toilet flush? He's three and a half. Mm-hmm. Why isn't the toilet flush? He's like, put a bunch of my toys down there. Oh, he's fine. Like straight up told, you know. Oh, he's great. He I like it. He's oh, great. I don't know. It's just got a but, bunch of cars and stuff down there. And you're like, mm-hmm. But the uh, plumber came yesterday to look at it and he goes, oh yeah, you have to turn off the, the valve so that yeah. nobody can flush it again. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that. I don't even know how to do that. Oh, it's I'm right. Surprised uh, you know how to it's do like it. in the wall. Well, I yeah. bought a house. Oh, so you figure that so out. So you gotta learn shit. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Someone's oh, man. doing all right. I bought a house. <laughs> okay. So yeah. that feels good, right? That's it what, does. I think that's like there's no, everything. Everyone has all these benchmarks for adulthood. I mm-hmm. feel like the the one that you're like, this is a solid adult thing is buying a house. I think so. In this yeah. economy? Yeah, right. It's wild. I was looking at houses and it was like, this is two point two million dollars and the bathroom is outside. Yeah. It made mm. no sense the way these houses were priced, but I found something that Congrats. I really yes, liked. Huge. Thank you. No. For me, the biggest adult moment. <laughs> was when we bought our first um, washer and dryer for clothes. Ooh. So you didn't have to use quarters. That, yeah. uh-huh. that to That's me, was like, nice. <sighs> you've made it. Big boy it. move. Yeah. yeah. My first apartment out here, I was like, it has to have a washer dryer. Yeah. Because in New York, I never had one. And I lived in a six floor walk up. Uh-huh. So you bring everything fucking downstairs and you have to bring it all the way fucking back up. It was awful. Those walk ups oh, are motherfuckers, ugh, man. It sucked. Six everything. fucking flights. Every time? Every, Every time. time. So like we had a system, if someone left something, they would just throw it out my window because my window faced the street. Mm-hmm. So sometimes I'd leave my keys, then my roommate would just throw my keys out. And once I got stuck in a tree, and that was awful. Oh, shit. And then like the whole Sucks. neighborhood came and was like throwing shit at the tree, <laughs> trying to help Aww. me get my keys down. Oh man. I miss that neighborhood. It was you uh, do? Morningside Heights, Harlem. It was like 125th and Broadway. Oh, we have a friend. Oh, we have that a lives. friend that lives on 124th and First Avenue. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Robert Paul Champagne. Yeah, 2395. They laughed so hard at that. I know. 2395 <laughs> Wagner Houses Apartment 2C, 124th and First Avenue. Oh no, this poor person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's what got his own hat. What did this person do to you? Did you say his He address? did some wild you shit. You want to see him? Here he is right yeah. here. This is him. Yeah. He doesn't look like Black guys who love to fuck and fuck good. If you're a hot black guy and you want to fuck me at twenty three ninety five, and if you want to move in, you can move in, but you got to fuck me. I need, I need to be fucked a lot, man. Get rid free food, free rent, and everything else, man. Here's a deal, man. <laughs> Men from jail, homeless, or um, you're a thug, you want to come move in? A friend can move in with you too, man. Free rent, you get a lease and a key. Fuck me. Piss on me. Beat me. I'm home, man. Out. You see me, you want to come over today and try it out? Try it out, man. If you're in my building, try it out. You want to fucking piss on me? Try it out. Mm-hmm. Seriously, apply it only as fuck, man. I'm looking for hardcore guys that mean it and want to do it. <laughs> and I want to deliver it. I'm a hot, fuck, white trash. Come, dump this fuck. There you go. Wow. <laughs> Robert Paul Champagne. That's the energy I don't like. <laughs> That's Why? Bad. What are you thinking? Yeah, what's, I mean, it's, yeah. A, it's, it's a lot of energy, but maybe focused in the wrong place. You think so? Uh, just a tad. Yeah. Uh, if you're a thug, if you came from jail, uh, you know. I mean, asking for out of jail is kind of wild. <laughs> it's very wild. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's like if you're a, said, a black man with a job, you know, <laughs> you don't contribute to the rent. Come fuck me. Then I'd be like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> See, I, right. I, I that's never, a good point. Nicole, a good no, point. nobody's ever articulated right? that. <laughs> She's yeah. right. Like a guy that can contribute to rent. Yes, but that's see, a what, really good. What distinction. Robert's saying is, do you have no options? <laughs> now you have one. So that's a totally different. It's a different pitch. argument. <laughs> like he, so wild. He, he yeah, wants. Well. He wants to be your only I choice. I wonder if this has worked <laughs> out for him. Mm. Well, it's funny that you mentioned that <laughs> <laughs> because well, Josh, who you met out there, went to visit him last week. This is insane. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is what happened. This is our trailer. Men from jail, homeless. <laughs> well, this one video is sort of a classic. Is that from your show? No, I'm just fascinated by that guy. <laughs> Free rent, you get a lease and a key. Fuck me. Piss on me. Beat me. I'm home man now. You know, people found his Instagram and, you know, <laughs> sent it to us like, oh my gosh, like we found the original account that he's uploading to. That's about as free as it gets. He's taking over the world. <laughs> it's 
sincerity in his eyes. <laughs> he gives his street address. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Robert Paul Champagne. You're watching your mom's house. <laughs> Try it out. <laughs> He's Look at terrifying! <laughs> All of those fucking dolls! <laughs> my God! Look at dolls. The dolls are funny, you should mention. Oh he gave God. me one. He gave me the Christina doll. Oh. See the behind him? There's one that he lovingly... It was really beautiful. She had a nice big outfit on. R Josh went into his apartment and spent time What's with the him. spooky thing on the door? He's terrified. I didn't even notice that. But you know something? He's the sweetest lamb you've ever met. I don't know. He's sweet. I don't know. He, he gave you something and your, your logic is all askew. <laughs> well, you got bamboozled. This man wants to murder. <laughs> this man wants a life-size Barbie that's a former woman. <laughs> this man, he's sick. Look at him. Oh, oh. Fucking scary. He's yes. terrifying. Just, that image is terrifying, dude. Just like surrounded by adorable dude, cute things. This is no different than mm. Buffalo Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. It's totally terrifying. <laughs> We've normalized this guy. The thinnest tank top straps. Like, what? Oh, oh. Oh, you don't know what else he was wearing. This <laughs> <Nothing>. is. <laughs> he was well, literally just Donald Duck in it with just the tank honestly, top. Honestly, what a great oh. trailer. I'm invested. July 8th. That's when it comes yeah. out. I remember. Yep. I'm going to watch it. This Thank you. Is nuts. It's it is nuts. Oh, those eyes. Well, the the weird thing is, is that we've gotten to know him over the course of <laughs> a, a year or two now. Uh. He never talks this way that he does in the, the video. It's yeah. almost as if something came over him that day. I uh -huh. don't know what. Because he's really like, yeah, he's more like a passive kind of like, well, oh. well, just like a, you know, um, it's very odd. I don't know what came over him that he made that video. Maybe. Josh, did he tell you about that day? What led up to the making of, of the video? Was he like in a. Um, I have a theory on it. Yeah. He didn't say this is true or not but he uh i think he was jerking off while he was making it and sometimes when you're jerking off your demeanor changes <laughs> Yep. okay so there you Sounds have it good, hey, right? hey josh when men jerk can off you, evil can you text me that photo of like what you you know the photo you sent me when of him on, of oh, him. when i was sitting across from him yeah you know the photo the one that you, you sent me drop it we could put it up uh, yeah, yeah, I'd, just to show Nicole. I'd love you for you to put yeah. so how So she can oh, see how he boy. did the interview. You know, you know what's interesting is that I think about this photograph a lot. Well, I've said it for about to see, yeah. I'll think about him forever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he is memorable. His name is Robert? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember nothing. I can't believe I remembered his name in yeah. July 8th. See? Yep. I know, there's something yeah. about Unfortunately, him. Unfortunately, this, uh, this episode that you're on will come out after that. Oh, okay. But it's a good, it's a good reminder to people who <laughs> haven't seen it. <laughs> the it's on, it's on the uh, the main channel, the Your Mom's House podcast main My channel. My goodness. And uh, <laughs> just, this is, Guys, this I'm is still how a fan. Josh I, interviewed him. Of course, I'm a huge I still fan. love Robert. No, no, oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. We can't show this to the people at home. Can you describe what this looks okay, like? Okay, so yeah. this man is wearing a tank top with the thinnest straps. He's surrounded by like bedazzled things and he's got the smallest dick I've ever seen. Uh, it's a teeny, can we zoom in on his dick? And black no. socks, right? Is he wearing the black socks? Or? It is, ooh. Yeah, black socks. It's, it doesn't go oh, it past his balls. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's like, it's a nubbin. Uh, it's tiny. Uh, and then he's got a mound on top of it. This is interesting. Yeah. He's a happy guy. I'd he like to see it guy. hard. Really? Well, if yeah. you go on his Insta Something stories Something tells live. me. Oh, yeah? Do you he have a cousin? on Instagram live. <laughs> Do I have a cousin? <laughs> a cousin that's a guy? He could probably get a <laughs> they, shot of it. None of them have been in jail, no, so. No, any, any hot black any guy hot, or well, Latino guy will work for him. All right. Yeah. I'll, no, yeah. I would never send a cousin over. No, just no. have him text. <laughs> Just send a text. <laughs> Just be like, hey, can I see that hard dick? Oh, boy. He'll send it immediately. Oh, maybe I'll catfish him. I guess oh, I don't no, need to no, see a tiny no, dick no, that you bad. Need, you don't no. want to do that. I've seen enough you, you in can, person. You can yeah. see it on Instagram. He goes live and he gets naked and he sometimes he drinks his own pee. <gasps> and you well, can that see doesn't seem dick. nutritious. That seems yeah. redundant. He seems to like it. He, yeah. Uh -huh. It's You'll find so out good. why uh, if you watch the documentary. Yeah, it gets into detail. I was like on yeah. board. Now I'm off board. Okay. I don't. Uh, I don't think I can watch it. Well, how are you gonna win you back? He also fucked some celebrities. <laughs> really? Yep. Okay, I'm back on board. You he know, reveals. 
here's a, um, a, a change of pace. The, the, <laughs> change of pace. the toilet what? made me, Why? reminded me that we haven't yet seen this man who is also on a toilet. <laughs> and where did you find this one? Is this? I think someone sent it in. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> just saying like, hey, this is like some really cool stuff from a really cool guy. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh dear. That's a good I description. I have seen it. <laughs> This song. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. Okay. Will you date him? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. I think we're good. <laughs> like, I didn't know what we were seeing, but. Yeah, I didn't what need that. Were people life. doing before the internet? <laughs> I know. Keeping this Were to they themselves? doing this alone? Yeah. Also, he's got no toilet paper. That roll was empty. You're so perceptive. No. What is he going to do? That's a good point. Yeah. Because he he's going to need it. He might have a bidet. Oh, he needs it. He yeah. definitely needs it. Oh, he's oh. got one sheet draped over it. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> Also, You're right. is he shitting in the shower? Yeah, it might be in <laughs> in Asia. Don't oh. you have to combine oh, sometimes? Yeah, so he's squatting. Could huh. be. Oh. Oh, he's having fun. Yeah. yeah, he's having a great time on the toilet. This guy should be... Oh, oh wow. boy. <laughs> he's really gassy. Yeah. Really gassy. Maybe he's lactose intolerant. Could be. It doesn't sound like there's much behind it, though. <laughs> no. It sounds very much That's like why it's I, all like, I think he's sick. Oh, I think yeah. it's like lactose and You know, like... <laughs> yeah. You're you lactose intolerant. You're kind of sharding apricots. on the toilet. Yeah. And you're like, well, come on. Let's have it come. Let's, let's go. <laughs> okay. I think I'm good on That's this one. Yeah, yep. truly. I think we get it. He's not Thank for you. me. Thank you. So would you date? Who would you date between the two guys? <laughs> Ooh. Well, if I had a pick. Oh, looks like we have another submission. Do you want to? Oh, you want to wait a moment? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh boy! So He's, here's a guy. This is what I like about this because I, I had the privilege and the honor of seeing this. Um, this man has posted this video to his account uh -huh. and it's not a dating site it's just like instagram but okay. he's using it as an opportunity to basically promote himself uh -huh. you know this is so, like that sorry like that guy who was like go out here baby yeah what did yeah. he say yeah was that do we ever hear that one Jim pemberton oh yeah 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 oh remember the the super cool guy from uh, i forget where he's like i'm a utah yeah, utah. yeah the, christina gave us actually a new Oh, version of that. Oh, we'll play that up next. Oh, good, oh, okay. good. I oh, was, I was then hoping you Please don't that. vote until okay. you're done. <laughs> okay, perfect. I'll, I'll save my vote. Okay. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I would, love, dating game. I would love Nicole Byer to weigh oh, in on the positives. <laughs> he's already terrifying. He's like tweaking out. Like, no. He's just, he's just alive with energy and know, vigor. Let's give it a shot. Well, hold on, it. hold on, oh, Nicole. Right. What's your physical type? What are you into? Uh, apparently, I like him tall with long hair. You do? Okay. Apparently. The last two guys I've dated long term were tall with long hair. Long okay. hair. Mm -hmm. Wow. Which is not something I thought I was into. Yeah. But they fuck good, so. Well, there you know. go. There you go. Uh, I don't, I just like people who are attractive to me. If yeah. that makes any That's, sense. Yeah. Sure. It's so a very wide What range. you're saying is someone here might have a shot. Yes. Yep. All right. Let's go. King partying. <laughs> Myrtle Beach, going to the beach, skimboarding, surfing. I like to do all that. I love the beach. I love playing football. I can throw a football left handed like 40 yards. What? I can throw a football right handed like 60 yards. Wow. It's pretty nice being fit. <laughs> it's pretty nice being fit. It's a uh, wait a minute. What are we calling these vids? Because well, I'm not sure they're cool guys. There's I don't something know. Else. There's there's certainly a lost look in his eyes. <laughs> yes, like I feel like he's tweaking out hard, but his pupils aren't <laughs> dilated enough. I also for feel me like to fully believe it. Yes, his pupils are definitely shot, and it also feels like he asked himself to describe himself. And he's like, I don't know. I like footballs and throwing them. Like he doesn't know. Wait. I like the beach. The beach is good. A skimboard. But this is a whole new. You guys, it's you cool understand what I'm saying? This is a whole new genre of YMH videos. We've yeah. had cool mm -hmm. guys, but these are like drunk, dumb guys. Uh -huh. Like yeah. braggy. Braggy guys. Braggy dumb yeah. guys. Yeah, it's true. It is kind braggy of its dumb own drunk. It's its own genre we found here yeah. on my. I, I think they're too cool. They're too cool too to cool. be in the cloak. Too club. cool guys. Yeah. yeah. He's got <laughs> this stubble on his neck. Yeah. Right. What's you know, happening there? <laughs> well, what's happening there is he didn't shave properly and he might have um, hmm. Razor source. Bumps? Yeah. So he's sores. just letting it go. <laughs> HIV. Yeah. 
Yeah. But he's definitely oh good boy. He's definitely looking at the camera confidently. <laughs> yeah. He's, I like his gold owning chain. the camera. He's got a gold chain like He looks like the kind of guy who thinks he's a model. Yeah. Yes. And then like yes. he 100%. needs people like us to remind mm-hmm. him that he's not. Wait, yeah. can you play more of him talking? Do we have more? Is there more of him? No, that's, that's uh, can I just see it again? I feel like I I need to take it in. Oh, okay. Can you pull you up do. his account? <laughs> Uh, I'd, I'd need to find it. Oh, okay. Let me just take in his ass. Partying. <laughs> I like partying. Myrtle Beach, going to the beach. Bitch. Skimboarding, surfing. <laughs> I like to do all that. Okay. I love I like, the beach. Yep. Yep. Love this was football. edited together. I could throw a football left handed like 40 yards. Oh, wow. That's pretty far. I could throw a football right handed like 60 yards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, it's pretty nice being fit. <laughs> He definitely. I love it. This makes me laugh so hard. This is so it's pretty nice being fat. <laughs> Can I tell you my prediction though? Wow. This guy's a fucking box of hair. Like he's covered <laughs> in shit. But I bet you he fucks good. <clears throat> That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was like, if the really? three I've seen, I'd probably fuck him. Yeah, and then you'd be like, really? that was pretty good. Yeah. I can't have dinner with you because no. it's like talking to a dog. <laughs> but, but he'd probably you'd be like, yeah, Jesus. I think he'd probably fuck pretty <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah. You don't think Robert Paul? <clears throat> Champagne would fuck. <laughs> no, he. Well, no, hold on. Hear he's me a out. bottom. <clears throat> but hear me out. Yes. Robert Paul Champagne has been in the game the longest, and he's been in the game when it was hard fucking core. Yeah, but he's back a, when he gay is, guys were real gay guys. But he is a power, he's a power submissive bottom. Like, yeah, power. I would have to peg him in that. Oh, when you're not me. interested. Yeah, in I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> but this guy. Oh I've, wow, you found that very fast. So let's scroll down a little bit. Wait, uh, what's his description? Dude, there's nothing like any profile. My name is Andy. I'm going to learn to write my Whoa. own music. <laughs> I was born I'm talented. talented. I, I sing in the rain greatness. Music, music and sports, sports is my, my passion. passion. I also See. love that everything's capitalized. Right, I noticed that. Yeah, yeah. And there's not, a lot of times you see it with women, but it's also cool when guys <laughs> have the same photo or video <laughs> angle 7,500 yep. times. Damn. So stupid. So is he singing in these or talking? Oh, uh, and the gum. The gum in the mouth is it's always got one view. Cool. Oh, love, passion, respect, and working. Gourmet food delivery and delivering gourmet food. If someone ordered food, I would have their food waiting for them in 10 minutes. Well, It'll take like a normal pizza deliverer to deliver in like 35 to 40 minutes while well, I do it in 10 minutes. Wow. It's nice. Oh, wow. Be a genius. <laughs> and have passion. Okay. And care about the customers. Okay. So I, now I kind of think, I, I think I see what's going on here. I, I mean, I, I think he's, He's clearly delusional. Yeah. Like maybe medicated. Those eyes. Those uh, people are drugs. Really well, shot. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Drew should see this. We, let, let's have Drew weigh in on yeah, yeah, you drugs mark or this mental for illness. Drew. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think it's meth. I don't think there's any. Quite, I think it's meth. He seems pretty methy to me. Yeah. I agree. The skin lesions are yeah. kind of a giveaway. The 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 no blinking. Yeah. Um, the the dryness of mouth. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go meth too. Let's on this see one. another. I'm yeah, very me, intrigued. Me too. I'd like to hear yeah. some music if I may. Some singing. I really don't care about people working here, doing everything, and they say, oh, I'm working. Huh? Huh? Oh, I could do their job a hundred times faster than they can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I can, like, work lifting DoorDash on my own spare time. Yeah. What's awesome about these, like, food Just deliveries... Do. Dude. They don't tell you the name of the place. They give you a number. <laughs> I think that job's for everybody. Dude, this guy's out of his Or is it the people that really want to work? These can't make all money. be about food delivery. All right, yeah, yeah. Okay, close this. Close this. Scroll down. Yeah, He's down. Scroll down like 10 more. No. And then pick a random You one. know what? This guy needs to get on TikTok because he's wasting his talents on the ground. Uh-huh. You're, Do you you're right. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is you're not right. where his audience is going to find. Oh, oh, oh wow. There's, there's pictures he he's have built. a pretty good body. Well, meth thin, thins you out. <laughs> meth thins you out. I uh, slept good probably <laughs> less than eight hours. Did you realize that most of these <laughs> have like two to uh-huh. 11 views? Uh-huh. Not anymore. And if we are, oh man, his whole account's going to fucking It's going to blow up. <laughs> He's done. I worked all day yesterday. <laughs> I worked gourmet food <laughs> from 8 to 10.30. 8 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. Right. We got it. 
And I worked out last night at like 11.30. Andy, you're in good shape. You're Slept very fit. eight hours. Feeling pretty good. Yeah. It's time to run. And oh. my goal today is 10 miles, and I'm going to okay. achieve that. I'm going to achieve Woo! that. But he can throw with his... All- okay. He can throw with his left hand, but he can also throw with his right hand. All right. Pick another random. What? Yeah. Uh, I love this. I can watch right, this Today's guy workout? There. Yeah. 10 miles. He's got a fan. Oh, he still does. And I'm going to go have to buy some Pedialyte. Wow, 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 wow. I'm a baby. Wait, what? All right, today's workout. Pedialyte's for children. Oh. 10 miles. Oh. And I'm going to. Okay. He's talking about his workouts. Yeah. It's all the same. This is so it's wild. The same. It's the same, the same thing. <laughs> Fuck. How? Oh How does Look he at have... those pupils, man. Look yeah, at those fucking yeah, eyes. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, so How I'm... does he have so... It's all the same. <laughs> I know. I, this is incredible. One more video. One more. Yeah, I got to see what's happening. Yeah. This is fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm out here working. DoorDash. 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 I'm paying my bills. Right. Oh, like this is from four days ago. He posts like a hundred videos a day. <gasps> Whoa. We've been scrolling. This is from four That's fucking days ago. <laughs> And I know that because I can just tell. Scroll to his first video. <gasps> like, go, right. go all the way down. How far He's down? Been, no, no, like, not <gasps> the first. Way. Like, yeah. That's like a day's worth of shit. Oh. Yeah, You're he's right. posting like a hundred videos a fucking day. Oh. Guys, this is like. This is. This is fucking wild. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got. Okay, that's from that's June 14th. June 14. 14. views. Okay. And you use that same way to <laughs> fold your bed and do anything. Huh? <laughs> anything. He's on drugs. The way you clean. <laughs> oh, boy. Whoa! I mean... Drugs? <sighs> oh, he's drunk. I worked so hard. <laughs> and no one took credit <laughs> for all the work I did. And I really want to be back at that place Aww. because I know it's really busy and I do care about everybody. But when people don't listen to what someone has to say and they can do it right almost every time and they have dreams to be actually an athlete and they have the talent and they're just not taking credit for your work and they just think there's something wrong. Wait, with you don't want people to take credit for your work. Right. All right. And We're you good. Use We're... He yeah. is wild. Yeah. Also this... his house. Very clean. Very clean. It's actually a nice place. It's nice. A lot of times when you see these people are out of their goddamn yeah. minds. It's like a fucking place, pig style. Like yes. mess. So yeah. now, looks like it. hold on. You're seriously, you're still considering him as your front runner. It's Robert Paul Champagne. Right. And mm-hmm. who's the next suitor? We're, uh, the man farting. Yeah, Chartin? the farting guy. The farter. Farting singer. He's mm-hmm. my, yeah, he's my front runner. And still and this guy is or is farter is? This guy is my front the runner. Front runner. Okay. Right. The fit 40 yards with yeah. my left hand. Okay. <laughs> But I wouldn't hang out with him. It would just be like, we got to fuck, and then you can go make whatever videos you want. So you're going you're like, <laughs> straight you're, for an You're yeah. like, I got a tripod I'll give you yeah. on your way out. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, so what, who else are we going to show? Interesting. This guy. Uh-oh. Okay. Deer meat for dinner. <laughs> All right. Okay. So what's up, you guys? Check this out. I'm down here filleting fish at my dock, and check out what shows up. This water's just sprinkling off my dock, off the cleaning table look at this that's a manatee letting water drop in his mouth oh that's my cool god fuck. so what's up with that y'all that's a manatee yeah. drinking water they from my fish water. cleaning dock that's totally insane i'm gonna go and uh, i guess i'm just gonna let him chill and drink however much water he wants i guess he's like at the bar right now i'm gonna fillet these the rest of these fish and i'm going fishing peace Ugh. he's not for me yeah He's not for me. I like, He's not I like. for anybody. Of course, a manatee vagina. likes fish water. Yeah. It's a yeah. manatee. It lives in the water. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> So he's he's kind of a dad. Yeah, yeah he's, he's not a, for me. He's got real dad energy. I'm gonna energy. fuck that meth man because he's gonna go for a while. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of energy. He's yep. up. Yes, yeah. he is up. Yeah, yeah, dad dork is like. Yeah, the I don't fuck, need man. that. He'll be like, wow. How fucking crazy is this? I'm well, out in the water and there's a water and, animal. And also, he wears half a sun visor. Have you noticed Whoa. that? He uh, didn't have a full visor. I yeah. know you say sun visor. He didn't have a full visor. He only had like the half one. Oh, I didn't even notice weird. that. I didn't like him. He was not. Yeah, for he's me. not your steez. Okay, maybe no. this guy is. 
Who's our next uh, victim here? Who's <laughs> deer meat? <laughs> yeah, why did it say deer meat? I'm gonna fucking know. throw up. What's wrong? Because I know what's coming oh, up. No. You've had any kind of erectile disorder problems, I'm here to tell you. Forget about Viagra, forget about salads, forget about dick and plants and all that stuff. So I don't know if you believe me or not, but if you like to see me smoke some meth with a small limp dick, it doesn't get hard any other way. And watch it get harder and harder. The more I smoke, the harder my dick gets. It's unbelievable. Your dickhead becomes so sensitive Ugh. that you don't need lube, you don't need spit. Ugh. You just stroke that dickhead this up and down four times. Just, just four barely times. do it. And you'll shoot an enormous amount of very thick, thick, hot, white gum. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> well, oh. what are you thinking? Well, we got to see it happen. <laughs> I got to see that hot, white, thick load. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, we don't get to see it? Oh, uh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. He actually says that if you really want to see it, you can message him and he'll send you the video. Oh, gross. Oh, yeah. boy. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to go with my uh, athletic <laughs> meth friend. <laughs> okay. So, so far, you're still into the meth guy. Yeah. Now, what about this Is Italian from Utah? Oh, boy. Are you going to pull him out? Yeah. Oh, my I gosh. To, I just want to know. Uh, to me, that's the other front runner for you. Even though n- oh. none of these guys have long hair. Which no. is kind of just, now that I know that that's what's been doing it for her. Do we yeah. have the original video with him? Who? With this guy. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull it up in a second. Holy, okay. this is my favorite. Just everybody, everybody, just a little update. Don't ever drink one of these bad boys. Don't ever. They are weapons. <laughs> hey, who are you? The weapons. Yeah, it's a, a it's a Arnold what? Palmer. It's a spiked it. Arnold Palmer. Don't ever drink a spiked Arnold Palmer. The weapons. Okay. I I also want to know like, how do you make up that accent? That's <laughs> not how he genuinely speaks. No. You don't ever. There's a spiked <laughs> Arnold Palmer. Like, what are you doing, man? But also, they're pretty mild. If you yeah. get those mixed drinks in a can, I, I think it's like Bartles like you, and James. Or, yeah, you yeah. gotta drink. A, it's like a Smirnoff uh, ice. Yeah, or like a Hard Mike's lemonade. It's, it's like for it. junior high kids. Yeah, yeah it's silliness. It's I'm fascinated. <laughs> I've been on his these Instagram. My eyebrows. Right, so oh, this yeah, guy yeah, is how yeah, we. Yeah, that's yeah. how we first learned <laughs> of this way. guy. Four strokes. Let's see if you are interested now okay you know like dead ass though like breakups are hard don't get me wrong ladies ladies and gents play boys and play girls Woo! breakups are hard but you gotta realize for you know a sexy italian boy like me the most fucking drop dead gorgeous guy in this motherfucking state of utah if i can get any girl in the state dead ass <laughs> we are out of here no shame no game baby you want that old bull or that young buck, baby? Because I'm that young buck. <laughs> we are out of you, dead ass. Woo! Uh, what do you think I just about crawled him? inside of myself. So hold on a second. His lips are the okay. same color as his skin, and mental illness is so prevalent in this country. <laughs> I, it is incredible <laughs> this many videos like this exist. Oh, this is just the beginning. Oh, I, know. Yeah. I know. This is no. nuts. No. I know. This man. No, Wait I, till you see Christina's dead TikTok ass. feed. <laughs> dead, dead ass. ass. Dead ass. Dead ass. And then we up out of here. But I'm going to keep talking for a few minutes. I thought you out of here, man. So well, crazy. Is he saying dead <laughs> ass? Yeah. I mean, he's saying dead ass. Like, yeah. I don't even know. Like, I'm serious. Like, I'm very serious. Oh, yeah. got yeah. you. I didn't know. Like, it's okay. dead ass serious uh-huh. right here. Now, I've been on his Instagram this last week, <laughs> just following up, uh-huh. and he posted a picture of he and this girl that he had just had sex with, uh-huh. and he put the word lit over her nipple, oh. and he's like, Ugh. this no. is my sugar mama right here. And Wait, can I see that picture, please? On the gram? Do you, would you remember what his Instagram shit mm. let me i, I gotta look I gotta well let me remind you of your choices <laughs> on today's dating show so okay you have robert paul piss yes. on me beat me if you're homeless thug come here uh you have i sing and fart mm-hmm. uh, uh, pretty well pretty good at it but it's just a choice yeah, it's just kind of gross yeah okay you have so, i'm fit, fit um fit, oh, I'm fit doordash it. driver mm-hmm. you have there's manatees in the water how crazy is that okay and then you have him the hottest italian guy mm-hmm. in utah Oh, he's from Utah? Yeah, that's where he's... Yeah. That's why the accent's all fucked up. Dead ass. Because he's only like... 
heard people from New York. There you go. So he's trying to like mimic it. Yeah. Yeah. I still think I'm going to stay with my uh, my DoorDash meth man. Right. Yeah. And still just smash and dash basically. Yeah. Smash and dash. Yeah. But DoorDash him. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I just texted it to Native. Yeah. Um, it's like. Um, wait. You're going to take the DoorDash or the, yeah. can can I, DoorDash Can I have the Corona man? The account is private. Yeah. Holy shit. It's private now? It. Oh, dang. Oh, oh, oh shit. Dang, we ruined dang, his dang. life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we already did it. Let me see because I still have access. Life. Do you he's follow? St- him? I still. Uh, he still has. I'm. I'm in. Like I requested. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm in. No, he's he's here, bro. Oh wow. Yeah, you got in while you. Wait, this is the picture. Text me some screenshots. I can put. Yeah, it yeah. Here's the one I was referring to, and it's oh, so, yeah. Screen grab that and send it to so him. It's so messed up. Like it's kind of gross. Like, yeah. <laughs> really? One of these guys? <laughs> yeah. Nicole's yep. choice, by the way, is she, pure organic dry cleaning. I really love likes. him. Yeah. I think he's really, um, I think yeah. he'd be enthusiastic. Oh. I think if I gave him some direction, him. Yeah. he would listen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wait, I think great. he'd be good. This, this one's the best tuna dump. Post this other one and read the, we have to read the comment. The, the <laughs> That's the guy. Wrote. That's your guy. That's I love him. him. I love him. Yeah. 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 Out of all of them, that's, that's, rock and roll that's my today! guy. Yep. Yeah. I would love for him to be on top of me screaming <laughs> rock and roll today. <laughs> Oh, so that's what I want. Yeah. Wow. Now, do you, you could you could tolerate that personality long term? Yeah. Look, okay, so, oh my God. Here we go. So that's his. That's from the gram. He writes, "If anyone sees my fish shirt, please DM me so I can get my fish shirt back. I left it downtown <laughs> at the club last night. Please and thanks." There he looks like someone kidnapped him. Also, right. his skin looks burnt. This is yeah. awful. Ugh. Yeah, this is it. So throwback TBT, me and my sugar mama. Uh, and someone wrote, where's woman. your fish shirt, yo? <laughs> 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 Holy oh, man, shit. That's pretty funny. That's Bridget right there. Uh, Bridget nailed it. So Bridget. But there's a video, I swear, where he's like, we just had sex. Ha <laughs> And she's like, um... I don't want you to post uh, this yeah, of on course. the ground. Yeah, baby, good morning, everybody. <laughs> is that my boyfriend? That's your boyfriend. I love him. Your I boyfriend is... About to fly myself to the Bronx. Yeah. <laughs> yep, you got to go. Full throttle. <laughs> Jesus, that is quite the choice. My that's God. totally insane. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, that's, that's the manatee guy. Sorry, I just realized. He's like, oh, my God, there's fish in the water? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm so bummed that he made his Instagram private. Yeah, well, he probably so got a lot of new fans. I'm yeah, too many. Did. Yeah, too many trying to roast him in the comments. Yeah, because oh. apparently Robert went private too. What? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. He did. He did. I, I, I see people all the time like tell him to accept me. Mm-hmm. You know, they were. Yeah, yeah. He went private to a lot of people. I guess. Interesting. Yeah, I guess he wasn't getting the hardcore <laughs> guys that want to fuck. <laughs> Well, I, oh, I just, upsetting. I'm confused. Why would you go private? I feel like people's yeah, goals what's the point? on social media are to reach people you wouldn't normally reach. True. I guess if you're posting family things, but it's so, it's not safe. Like people can still see your stuff, right? Like well, on I Facebook, mean, even if you make they're it not private. not posting family stuff. He's literally asking people to come fuck him. That's true. So why would you make it private? And he's like, true. where's my fish shirt? <laughs> yeah, you want yeah, your fish shirt back? Stupid. Keep it public. Someone Keep might have it. it. Public. I can't believe how big his dick was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's nice. Really nice. <clears throat> Which one do you choose? If I had to choose between these guys? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think, who could, I, who could I tolerate just, let's say, if you're like, you have to hang out with this person. Mm. Well, she's just sleeping with him. No, I know, but I'm talking about for me, it would be like, who could you... Who's the hang? Okay, so who, who could are you I hang, hang with? with? Corona Hang, co- dude. Corona. Cor- I think Corona. Corona man, because I think he has levels. I do not believe he's like that all the time. Dude. Right. I think if he's like having fun, he's partying, that's what he's doing. I don't know. You got to see his You got to see his it's Instagram. It's lunacy. <laughs> it is fucking intense. He is oh, You like. say not all the time. Every fucking... But he's like, my friend just came in from San Francisco. <laughs> um, came right into Bronx. And I was like, Jesus Christ. That's for to tell <laughs> yeah. a story that yeah. your friend arrived? He's like, stoked about everything. Yeah, I like is. enthusiasm. He is, he is like... He's good energy. He is good energy. He's positive. Out of all these dudes, I think he has the most positive energy energy that's like not rapey or creepy no. yeah. or like gonna free based right after we're think, done who could i watch a game with mm. um, oh my he's fun to watch a game with that guy mm-hmm. and then probably robert you know he seems like a good guy oh i've seen this video 
That just went away. You have? That one. Is that him? Is that my friend? Well, that's Big Time Tommy. I like him too. Do you know him? No, I don't. I've just seen that video. I fucking love him. So you know Big Time Tommy. So you know He's Big Time funny. Tommy. Yeah, Big Time Tommy, for people that don't know, let's... Um, that's let's, a good... I can see that. See, look at her light up. <laughs> I do believe that you... I think you do need a big personality because you know what? He would appreciate that in you. Mm-hmm. I feel like we do need to like we need to set you up with a, a big like a big time a Tommy big, type of guy. Ridiculous man. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I see you. Here's light my up. thought of the day. <laughs> That's big time. Yeah, Tommy. you like that kind of. It makes me laugh so hard. Yeah, he's yeah. a lot of fun. Make America <laughs> old school. Again, he's pissing in the background. No, there's rain. You, so you have a podcast that's it's like, why am I single? Or it's called what? Why Won't You Date Me? Yeah. So what what's going on with that? Like you, I've been doing it for two years. I don't really have any clean cut answers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Um, in the beginning, I would uh, interview dudes I've hooked up with and oh. ask them why they wouldn't date me, and then I Hilarious. ran out of men who would agree to do it. Um, so now I interview comics and friends and then just like, uh, like I, I did interview this girl that I dated last summer and that was bad. What did Uh, she say? Well, she was like, you're bad at communication. You're not very open. Uh, you didn't respect my time. And I was like, this is the person you dated before. Yeah. And then, and she, and she was like straight up like, yeah, she was, she really let me have it. And I, I was like, I could say things back, but like, I'll just be the bad guy. You can just vent and that's fine. Uh, but it's been like it's been fun and interesting and I like doing it was that hard to hear though or was it interesting oh my gosh I'd be devastated no it wasn't super hard to hear because I did tell her I was like I am bad at texting I was also touring a ton I was only here three days a week on the road yeah 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 what four days a week um so I guess I should have said up front like I don't really have time right now but I don't know I wanted to get my pussy eaten (laughs) yeah so I didn't (laughs) So we have to use that. Make sure you mark yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a great. Yeah. We, got, we got a new drop, guys. I wanted to get my pussy eaten. <laughs> so, so you were t- you're a bad communicator. Um, yes. And what else? Have, what what have other people said about you? Um, uh, people that I spoke to that I hooked up with in my early twenties said that I had walls up, which is true. My dad mm. died when I was twenty one. It's a lot. I you started, went through a yeah. lot, man. Yeah. So, and I still do have walls, but now I've been trying to be better about letting people in. But uh, I think being vulnerable is inviting people to hurt your feelings. Uh, it's a natural thought. Yeah, and uh, that's hard for me still. Isn't there I, nothing worse than someone with no walls, though? I know. You know, when someone's like, I am open in every regard. Well, that's, but that's why it makes us uncomfortable on that dating. We were watching this dating show where the Australian people get back together again after being broken up. You get back back with the ex. Sometimes three, sometimes 10 years, sometimes 20 20 years. Damn. And there was this woman on there who was clearly like very emotionally available Mm -hmm. and very like in touch with herself. And Tom and I are so uncomfortable watching Mm -hmm. her. Like I I was like turning in bed. (laughs) Yeah. We were like, oh, your your emotional like, Today, availability is killing mm-hmm. me. I felt like he wanted to express these emotions that Ugh. I was very comfortable with, and I reached out. and I remember I squeezed his hand, and I, just the way that his energy came through. I was that's like, that's a little fuck too much. It's way too. If I much. could have like five percent of that. I yeah, think yeah, I'd yeah, be yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I'm like bad at telling people how I feel in the moment because I'm like I don't want to hurt your feelings. I'm just like, but isn't that you're just delaying the inevitable? Is what my therapist says. I think that's what? well. Hold but on, it's on. a skill set though too. Is yeah. what I like. I think learning so. how to tell somebody how you feel in the moment. Like mm-hmm. I've struggled with that too. I don't feel like it's just. It's very rare that you find that to be just a natural, you know, what yeah. I mean, gift. Like people have to work on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. So you you. You would uh, like, let's say you're out on, you're with your partner or whatever, and they do something and it totally drives you up the wall. Like you're saying, delaying the inevitable, meaning eventually you're going to break up with that person. Eventually I'm going to have to tell this person, I don't like you doing that. Or like if you are dating someone, you're like, I'd like you to not date other people. And you delay telling them that because you're afraid Mm -hmm. they're going to leave and be like, Uh, well, I want to keep dating other people. You're just delaying the inevitable by not saying what you feel in the moment. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's interesting. That's a good point. I never thought of it that way, but you're Do you right. work on that then? Is that something? I, mean, I like, try, yeah. but uh, I've just had, I'm not having a great time dating right now. Yeah. I've been trying so hard. Uh, I just want to date with somebody who, very sweet, but like uh, kind of boring uh, and uh, not funny. And I need like a funny person. Like I need yeah. someone who like gets jokes. 
And at one point he was just like, man, you're just so funny. And I was like, oh, it's boy. my job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm silly. I don't know. Uh, and then I tried to fuck this guy in Tacoma. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was there over the weekend. Uh, and so during the show, I have a joke about how uh, if you've seen Fort Dix, you've seen them all. And then I talked about how <laughs> <laughs> my hotel gave me little bottles of vodka and a vibrator. And this guy in the crown goes, well, was the vibrator like one of the four dicks? And I was like, well, I don't need the vibrator. If I see your dick, would you fuck me? Because uh, you got to take opportunities he, when they He was happen. cute and you liked him. It was dark. Okay. And he was a, it was a male voice. And I was like, I want yeah. a dick tonight. Great. So he was like, yeah, I'll fuck you. And I was like, great. How old are you? And he was like, however old you want me to be. And I was like, that's how articles get written. How old are you? <laughs> yeah. He was like 33. And I was like, sick. That works. Here's my email address. So I gave him my email address. And because I wasn't going to give my phone number. That's insane. So then we're emailing back and forth. And he goes, do you want to go to like this gay bar for karaoke? And I was like, wait, no. is he gay? And I was like, no, I want to have a drink in my bar and go back to my room. He goes, okay. And I was like, all right, maybe he's bi. I don't know. I'm not going to, I don't care. Uh, if you fuck me, I don't care. Uh, so then he comes to my hotel. He orders a Long Island iced tea. And I was like, oh, oh my boy, God. Damn. He like... can't be 33. Yeah. And then he had gray contact lenses. And I was like, nope. Is he a time traveler? Yeah. <laughs> Is he from the year 2000? <laughs> what did, wait, what did he look like? Oh God, he yes. was tall, white, kind of gummy looking mm -hmm. like yes, he was made out mean. of play-doh like a doughy a doughy white guy yes, they have yeah. like no musculature yes but he wasn't fat it no was, no like a skinny doughy yeah, right like when god made him he just put all the yeah. ingredients in a yes. sack and it took a man form yes uh, just a mushy guy <laughs> yes. like if you touched him your finger would go 100 percent. they're so wimpy and yeah. mushy yeah so yeah. he finishes his long island i was like let's go to my room he's like okay so then we like start long making out. <laughs> i know yep. when's the last time like i drank those when i was 20 yes like yeah. when you were 20 maybe and 18 to get aside ripped. from that yeah. drink choice age-wise what do you peg him at when you're looking at him now i looked at his instagram now i think he's uh i would say 21 22 wow maybe? wow so he really okay yeah. what the fuck? so then we're making out and it's not great and he's like you don't seem like you're into it and i was like i just want you to fuck me yeah so then he's like well let's use that vibrator the hotel got you and i said okay so it's like a little pocket rocket i take it out and then he starts to put like like take out a condom and i was like you're fully dressed what are you doing he's like i'm gonna put the vibrator in the condom and i was no, like for what no. purpose you know rattle it around it's this big so then he was like no i thought that's what you're supposed to do and i was like what uh, why would you ever it's mine and it's brand new and he's like whatever i guess we'll just use it so then he starts rubbing it like on my mom's pubis like not in my pussy just like on the little hump and i was like I think I rolled my eyes so hard the bed shook and he was like you just don't seem like you're into it and I was like well I don't know what you think that's gonna do so he's like you do it so then I start doing it this and then this got bad vibes right <laughs> it's now it's terrible yeah. so then he starts to go down on me and then he goes I have to go I can't do this and I was like what is it me is it my pussy and then he's like putting on his shoes and I said oh do that outside I don't want you here so then he leaves and I like went to the bathroom I was like does my pussy stink and I was like no it smells like a pussy and then my friend I was telling her the story she was like go on his uh his Instagram you have his full name so I went on his Instagram the first picture is him at the pride parade <laughs> so I was like this gay man came to my room and then really yeah. had a moment and was like I don't like women yeah yeah Aww. and well, I you, was the woman who did it there's for him. no such thing by the way as a like a a straight dude who has the potential to fuck someone was like you want to go to this gay bar real quick yes no. like, i know that was the red flag yeah, yeah, yeah. and i said i ignore this red flag i i love flags yeah i'll yeah. collect them uh, yeah. there, was, there were so many and then uh the bartenders at the bar saw the exchange before i went to my room and then the next day i like told them the story and they were like he did leave very fast and we were just like "Ooh, that girl got it done and i was like no, oh, no. i got nothing done yeah yeah. <sighs> so Aww. that was the last time I tried to have sex, and uh, I think I'm going to take a little break. Yeah, that yeah. sounds terrible. Yeah, I'm so well, sorry that happened okay. to you like that. It's okay. My life is filled with really fun stories like that. After he left, I like truly looked to the heavens, and I was like, I don't want any more material. I just, <laughs> I just want to have sex. I don't yeah. want more stories. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't blame you. What's your longest relationship? Um, I dated someone on and off for like three years, but it was like very on and off. We'd be like on for like a month or two and then off for like three months and then on for oh, a wow. month. Yeah. And he wasn't great, but he had a big old dick. 
There you go. It was such a nice day. You do. You know nice. what you need? I know. I, I see it now. You do need one of these guys who's like, how do I put this? Like a regular guy. But loud and big. Mm-hmm. Like like these guys. What the, what's the first guy we have? What do you the, mean? The Corona man? Corona guy. Oh, right. Like, like a these big, loud guy. Neighborhoody. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But he knows everybody in the neighborhood. Hey, there's fucking Timmy the butcher. And he's like <laughs> the, the mayor of the block. Uh-huh. And he's just really grounded. And he wants to coach fucking soccer for his kids. <laughs> and I don't know. Like those guys are nice. I like those mm-hmm. guys. And you need That's a guy who, ad- she wants. who adores you. But, <laughs> but, Where have but, you been? I know. But she, see, the thing is... you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you need okay you need a, a normal fucking guy who adores you and who loves everything about you who loves your personality who loves your jewelry and yeah, all the shit stuff helps of course the, the mm-hmm. adoration you know what i mean the adoration yeah. usually comes from a more grounded guy yes that's what, she's saying. That's what mm-hmm. i'm saying and the guy who's uh, th- you just want to fuck they're never gonna give you that kind of love but she just wants that big old stinky dick right I now. I know, Do you want right a big old now. stinky dick. Yeah. You said stinking. I said stinky. Yeah. Uh, stinking. <laughs> I don't want a stinky dick. <laughs> That'd I'm be glad bad. You caught that. <laughs> That'd be bad. I mean, I, I wish I could hook her up with that one I saw yesterday, you know? Yeah, Tom saw a huge one in some sweatpants. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, I was, it was a, not the appropriate setting to see one either. Oh, where I were you? Picking up my kid from school. <laughs> and there was another dad there. Uh-huh. And I was like, the fuck? You, what's in your pants man i mean he was moving around shit was like you know like he uh-huh. was, every time he moved down it looked it looked like a trunk it looked like an elephant trunk oh, that's you know? a real treat yeah it was yeah. like it, it really oh boy and i was just looking at all because it was all like teachers and mm-hmm. moms, and i kept looking at them like are you seeing it you know and then they were looking <laughs> and at that's me not like something you can say out loud anyway. no you, y'all looking at that dick this dick is really calling attention to everybody Do you right ever now. go to laker games no, I've never been to a, a, an NBA game. I've been to uh, too many WNBA games. I'm like nah. the only person in America mm. who's been to. You should come with us next time to see yeah. some big old Some real dicks. Okay. Yeah. That's what we go for. That's what I go for. <laughs> yeah. You're like, fuck yeah, the yeah, game. Let's, let's, let's leave the, the Let's leave the we out of it. <laughs> yeah. I kind of like basketball. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I like seeing LeBron's dong. Now he wears compression shorts. I know. Mean, but you got you to gotta go for the guys that... Um, I like love the, that you know he wears compression shorts. They all do. All the stars do. But like the oh. bench the bench players, they they're do. like, I'm probably not going to get in. Mm-hmm. Then you can see some flop. <laughs> yeah, <they're not> flop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And also football, they don't wear panties with their uh, Dude. But don't they wear cups? Either. No. Yeah, but I no? see their beasts. No, that's like, that's like little league stuff. They don't wear cups in the NFL? They don't wear cups in the NFL. No. Jeez. Some dudes wear a jock strap, okay, which like keeps things yeah. together. But like. No, most just wear but nothing. But they're like fucking tackling each other. It's crazy. Yeah. That seems... And they also, they didn't wear it for the last 20 years. No one was wearing thigh pads. Like all, all, and then they, they mandated you got to put something in there. So some dudes will cut like a little piece and put it in. These, they're savages. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's crazy. Mm. It is crazy, actually. I also yeah. don't understand football. I know that you have four attempts to move the ball 10 yards. That's good. I don't even know start. that. She and I've been that. watching him watch football for 15 years. <laughs> watching him watch. It's true. I do not understand it. I'm, I'm just kidding. It's hard. It's hard to under, I don't. A lot of uh, arbitrary rules, it seems. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then that's they're right. kicking the ball now. And he's like. <laughs> I have an exciting thing to show you. Ooh. It's, it's not a creepy guy. Okay. This is a fun game. So this, okay. if you know, don't say anything, right? It's for the other person. I'm assuming neither of you have seen this. This is a commercial that aired. Mm-hmm. And I don't think. It is possible to guess what this commercial is for. Okay. okay. Let's go. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> for people listening, woman's giving birth in a bathtub. And there's, yep, there's the baby. Everyone's very emotional, right? We're jumping ahead here. Baby's getting a little bit older. A couple months old. You know, he's pulling himself up. Mm. Let's pause for a second. So far, is there any guess <coughs> as to what this could be? Subaru. I think maybe Ancestry.com? It's a good guess. It's a good guess. Let's keep going. Now that the child is now a couple of years old, Aww. right? One or two. Um, but you see that the family is growing. Now he's walking, progressing. He's Eating probably four. Stick. He's Jeez. pissing. Oh. Pissing in the water. He's scared of monsters. It's under the bed. There's horses running. Obviously, you can hear the music. It's building. Dramatic. He's throwing rocks at glass bottles. He's in a river. 
Now he's oh, peeking. He's jerking off to his mom. Yeah. Oh, now he's learning to Jesus shave. Christ. Right, so we're progressing through his life. Right. Any any more guesses? Are we still water? Something uh, to do with water. Mm-hmm. Maybe his parents are gonna die and it's for the boys and girls club. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> it would be such a bold promo. <laughs> They're like, "This will probably happen to you." <laughs> you had a great life. Your parents yeah. dead. Come to the Boys and Girls Club. Boys and Girls Club. All right. How about gum? Now, without without ending it, can Try you scroll that? a little bit? Like, just scroll. Like, yeah. This, like, is a woman. this is a commercial. Yes, it was like a. It was like one of those. Yeah, like big time, oh, obvious. Boy. So now he's, we, we scrubbed ahead, but you know, uh-huh. now he's a young man, right? So we can keep going. And by the way, this is not he's a joke. He's in Hanoi. Okay. This is not a joke? This, this is, is not a joke. This is real. This is oh a real commercial that was made. Yeah, so now he's, he's, you know, he's becoming a man. He's checking out the world. Looks like he's maybe going off to college or uh-huh. entering Every the workforce. Life asks you the same question. What are you going to try today? Oh. oh! What? Oh. Yeah. oh, man. It's a Subway commercial. Oh, man. What are you going to try today? Different things. You want turkey, you want parm, you want the chicken parm, <laughs> you want the meatball sub, you want the ham and we cheese We saw this veggie. man's whole fucking life. There's so many different yeah. choices. And it all leads up to this moment. Do you want avocado? That's an extra two ninety nine. dollars Look at any That face. is a crazy. <laughs> yeah. Fucking wild. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I, w- I thought maybe it was a car commercial. Yes. They have those fucking... They do that sometimes. Commercials. Yeah. Safety, or McConaughey something. does those weird as fuck Lincoln commercials. Yes, where he's like, all right, all right, everybody inside, I'm in my car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, what is it's always that? That weird, too. That's insane. They got all existential on us. And I it's was, two minutes. I was engaged. I thought of my own children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then at the end, you're like, I need to get some. I gotta go No, it's the grossest I shit. I'm gonna get a $5 dollar foot long. I'm not going to eat Subway. I haven't the eaten Subway s- in years. They smell. They smell the, like it farts. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's Even no like, McDonald's. Hmm? It's no McDonald's. I love the smell of McDonald's. Me McDonald's too. The Stroop Waffle McFlurry McDonald's. is mm. my favorite. Mm. It's great. Mm. You know, I love the two cheeseburger meal. Me it's too. great. That's perfect. I love a double quarter pounder without mustard Ooh. and light on the onions and then Ooh. some Frenchy fries. Look at that. Oh, mm. very specific. Yeah. Do you Are you like, I like scorching hot fries yeah when they're like when the yeah. oil yes. is still like bubbling uh-huh. on the you fry. gotta ask for them with no salt because then they give you new fries really oh, yes because wow. they have to make a new batch of fries that are that's unsalted. the secret and then you add your own salt and they're you just changed my whole life very hot wow yes. mm-hmm. oh unsalted fries please and then they'll go uh-huh. damn it now would and you guys like to ones? know a little <laughs> insider secret that i learned <laughs> yes <laughs> yes while working uh, with McDonald's a couple weeks back. Yeah. You know the McRib is a seasonal item, right? Yes. Uh-huh. Do you want to know why? Tell me. Pork shortage. They don't oh. have enough pork to make it a year-round item. Interesting. Uh-huh. How many pickles are on the McRib? Go ahead. Four. I think it's two. Oh, I don't know. I thought it was two. Well, he just said that shit like he knew. He did. Like he four. really was like, I used to make them. I love McRibs. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had a McRib. What? I don't try then new how things. How did you guess four? Um, because just people seem to fucking love pickles and they like just <laughs> throw a lot of pickles on shit. I hate You've, pickles. You don't like what? McRibs? So? Oh, you never tried well, I've never McRib? tried a McRib. Wait, do you like barbecue? I love barbecue. All right, this is not... The, look, the McRib is not on par with like no, the best barbecue. <laughs> but... If you dig it, if you dig barbecue, mm-hmm. I mean, that's the closest you're going to get to it without going to a barbecue place. All right. It's its own taste, you know? Right? It's I like its own sauce. taste. It's its own taste. Yeah. McDonald's, it's its own taste. <laughs> that's a good slogan. <laughs> McDonald's, we do it different. <laughs> <laughs> it's, McDonald's. it's your own taste. It's not barbecue. It's not <laughs> <laughs> I don't but the McRib sauce is amazing. That's, that's what gets is. you. Okay. That's what gets it's you. It's so good. It's one of those things where it's like Damn. when you get her- when you try heroin. It's mm. either something that connects with you uh-huh. or it doesn't. You know. Have either you tried makes- heroin? No, but our previous guest did, and he said it either shuts you down. I feel sick, or you're like I feel alive. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. So I think the McRib is very similar. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. McDonald's gonna love that <laughs> sound, buddy. Yeah, I might have to. I might have to run that one by corporate. Let's <laughs> we'll see. 
My favorite fast uh, food is Taco Bell. I've is it really? Like, yes. Really? What's your entree? What do you okay, get? Okay, I get a Crunchwrap Supreme and then Hell a little yeah. soft taco. And then if I'm feeling like really, you know, passing away, I'll get a quesadilla. <laughs> oh. I love a quesadilla. Before we go, I just realized this. Because you've yeah. dated both men and women. Mm-hmm. So one of our staff guys here, who's also a great comedian, his name is Josh Potter. Mm-hmm. He has trouble finishing with a woman. Not that okay. he's into men. It's just that he has trouble coming with one. Mm-hmm. He can come alone. So we put it out there that um, that women, if they wanted to, uh, could volunteer to make, to make him Josh come. come. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they sent in videos of themselves. I mean, this is J- Josh. Have you have you? come with a woman at all since all this began what not since this began no but you have had sex yeah and it's always you're like so you're done i go well today wasn't your day so it's <laughs> and then i go guess i gotta go back to the drawing board today wasn't your day toots yeah, you can, he does not well do you make sure you can hop back in the queue Maybe try again down the road. Do you, know? you make sure they come at least? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's Absolutely. good at that, I think. Okay. Yeah. I mean, can you, he basically can go as long uh, as you want. I don't want to think about want. Josh. People. <laughs> well, it's do you, of... when you're alone, are you watching porn? Um, Sometimes. Sometimes I'm not. So. I can go imagination style. I got to practice for when I can't see someday. Oh. He has so, a degenerative eye condition. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. I was like, the interesting forecast for your future. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but do you ever think about watching porn as, like to try to finish? Have you tried oh, that? Oh, dude. Oh, you mean like with a, <gasps> with with a woman? With it. a woman. I haven't had a woman who's been like uh, game for that yet, but I, really? I should what? propose it. What? I know, you're dude, right. Dude, they haven't brought it up. This is the actual of everybody that has That's waited. That's a great suggestion. This is a really, this yeah. is the best idea. She's brilliant. That is yeah. a brilliant idea. If there's oh, a will, wow. there's a way. And there are d- try. D- so many women that would be down for yeah, that. Yeah, there'd be You're so, right. Yeah. I just haven't uh, brought it up to a woman what before. What you do is you, you put the iPad like behind her head, uh-huh. <laughs> and then you put your favorite thing on. You're like, it doesn't matter what you like, it's about yeah. me. And then press play, and you just start pounding. You're yeah. going to finish, bro. Yeah, I think like if I put it on the television screen, I go, Alexa, play. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then it will do it, so I don't even have to get up or get exactly. out of the... Exactly. Yeah. Honestly, like, yes. <laughs> And I think uh, I think some women will think that's hot. Cool. Some might not be into it. Can we do one other thing, Nadav? Can you show Nicole what was submitted for Josh? Do you have access to that? So we put it out there that mm-hmm. he was. We're just like, oh, you know, uh, he has this issue. He can't finish with. Mm-hmm. And like, dude, <laughs> he like he was sent submissions of people wanting. Like volunteering to be involved. To make Josh come. Yeah. I mean, this is very nice. It's incredibly thoughtful. It's very thoughtful. Do you think you'd want to make Josh come? Oh, there was big time time. I don't know. I feel like I would be disappointed if he didn't come. Yeah. And I was like, that's my, that's my one goal. I just, I think this is pretty interesting. (coughs) Hey mommies. Um, This is Daniela here uh, submitting my video for make Josh come ordeal. I have a dog. She says hello. Um, I also have other things that Josh may be into. <laughs> Who knows? He's a psychopath. But um, this is my submission saying try it out. I do have a full set of teeth. Ignore the pimple, <laughs> if you will. Um, and uh, my farts might be as good as this one. Maybe that's what he'd like. Try it out. <laughs> well, are you into being punished? No. Wait, <laughs> not really, no. Okay. <laughs> Seems that's like not my bad. That's a that's a cool <laughs> yeah. submission just to receive, I, right? I, yeah. Can I tell you something? I think she's girlfriend material. Yeah. She's great. And that I think submission. she's willing to try different things. Like she I don't would. think it'd be like a yeah. one and done. I think she would really she's a girlfriend. Another try good to point. figure it out. Yeah. You would not come yeah. and she'd be like, We're gonna do something yeah, different. She, right? like, yeah. yeah, she would just keep trying. Yep. Yeah. She's good. But she's a keeper. Good morning, Joshua. She's got crazy it's eyes. Me, Jackie from Ottawa, Canada. And I think that I should get to win the contest to make Josh Potter come because 
I am in Canada and he can't actually come here to see me, so I need to go there to see him. And I've heard that you're pretty into lesbians, so I do have a friend that could be potentially interested in joining me. So pick me, try it out. Jackie from Canada. I don't think she's in it for the right reasons. <gasps> oh. Wow. I do not think she's sincere about trying to make you come. Wow, tell, interesting. Tell Nicole. us why. I just, her being like, I have to come see you. Well, I don't know. Can you not go to Canada? He can't no. for legal reasons. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. She just didn't seem sincere to me. Wow. And then she's like, and my friend? And I, I just... It just seemed like two girls who were like in it to for the trip to try to fuck somebody that they listen to and admire. She seems like oh, a star fucker. Wow, Nicole. Wow. Now these all the guys here were very taken with her. She's very pretty. She's very beautiful. Pretty people get what they want for a reason. Yeah. But I see through her. Wow. Wow. Interesting assessment. That is that is interesting. Now we followed up with her. Uh, well, let's, show, let's show her this last one. Though, okay. Right? Yeah, okay. Before she. Okay. Oh, Good sorry. Morning, jeans. My name is Ariana with two N's, and I'm gonna make Josh come. I saw on Dr. Drew's podcast that he has two problems, which is boring relationships and eye contact. And so here's how I'm gonna figure this out. I'm here to tell you there are no strings attached, so you don't have to worry about that. And I can do this shit with my eye for a long ass time, so we'll even out the playing field the whole time. Although it'll only take you four strokes to come because I know myself. I'm home here now. So you can hit me up, but I just figured out that Instagram has DMs. So give me a minute. Um, but hit me up and I'll show you how these tits fart. <laughs> now, That's she funny. seemed like kind of think? like uh, she wanted to solve the puzzle. Yes, you know? but she didn't really give any solutions. Homegirl in the first one gave some examples. She was like, I have toys. Let's try to play with toys. And I think if the toys didn't work, she would have a second solution. I think this woman came in with a game plan. This one I think is fun. And I think, I also think she in the moment will get not scared, but just be like, I don't know, like a little frazzled. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's as this confident is, it's as such, she's. It's such fascinating analysis actually to hear you weigh in on this well i guess i felt the same similarly in the beginning too i said the first one remember mm -hmm. yeah. i go she's the one she's a, the deal the deal the deal i think you and i read we sensed something in her mm -hmm. some sort of genuineness yeah she was genuine but also a plan she a had plan. a plan yeah wow That's i don't true. know how do you guys feel about this how does josh feel number one. Josh. Oh, wow and he's, oh, on and he's one. number one too Josh. Josh, but Josh. I'm sticking with my solution. <laughs> <laughs> so Josh chose number two. Yeah. yeah. It's not going to go well. I'll tell you that. Like, I know for a fact this is, it's not going to go well. <laughs> it's going to go very poorly. <laughs> you're making a very bad decision. <laughs> I love it. You're, I love you're it. wasting an opportunity. I love it. Because she's going to fuck around. She's yeah. not in it for no. Josh's dick. No. And are you flying her out here? Yeah. He uh, Tom Segura's flying them out, I believe, right? Yes. You, may, you better make sure she gets in a car and heads to his house and doesn't just fly here and do whatever. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Oh, I mean, no. Wow. We have, I mean. I don't trust her. Wow. wow. What, do you th what do you think's going to happen? I don't know. I just, um, maybe she flies here and then uh, her plane lands and then you never see where she goes. I see. Maybe she's getting a free trip to LA. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I don't know. I just there's something off about her. Can I watch it again? <laughs> oh, let's put it on again. Yeah, it's exciting. This is fucking I great. Love it. Good morning, Joshua. Let's pause a second, just so you know some of the things that you're hearing in these. Mm -hmm. uh, that and uh, the good morning. It's it's a, it's inside jokes. Yes. Okay, so yeah. just making sure that you mm -hmm. know it's not her. No, yes, greeting. I know. Okay. Good morning, Joshua. It's me, Jackie, from Ottawa, Canada, and I think that I should get to win the contest to make Josh Potter come because He's I'm off in right Canada now. and he can't actually come here to see me, so I need to go there to see him. And I've heard that you're pretty into lesbians, so I do have a friend that could be potentially interested in joining me, so pick me. Try it out. Jackie from Canada. She didn't even check in with this girl first before making the video oh. and offering up this girl's services. She's not thoughtful. Wow. She's not going to be thoughtful with your dick. Wow. 
brilliant <laughs> insight. I really like your assessment here. I mean, here. the best decision I ever made was suggesting that you watch this. Yeah. <laughs> We need you to analyze all of our videos. Yeah. Jeez. Also, pick me because you can't come to Canada, so I have to go there is not a real thing. That's not a that's not a reason. Mm. She she literally has said nothing of value or tangible in that video. Well, she's hot and all the guys. She's very are like, pretty. Um, I'll give her that. Boy. She's gorgeous. But mm. uh, I don't know. Does this make Josh second guess his choice at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> He is. He's definitely. All right. Yeah, he made his decision, All but right. it was. It was. It was fun to hear somebody else. Oh weigh boy! In. This All first right. girl, though, that that's a ride or die bitch, right yes. there. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. like she like, might. You might end up in a relationship with her. I yes. see. Uh, uh, whatever. I, I like know. her. I, know. I, I like her, her too. Like her. I felt that. I, I agree. Right? She. I think she genuinely likes Josh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You I know? could see a girlfriend there too. I think the main thing, like what I took the most from the three is that Josh isn't worthy of any of them. Yeah. But that, <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. But um, I still, you know, I want him to, to I want him to come so badly. Mm -hmm. I want you to come too. <laughs> and I, um, you know, I'm happy that he was able to make a choice that his dick feels his best. Yeah. yeah. What's happening when you can't come? I just uh, keep going. It's just hard and keep staying that way. What's in your brain? Oh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Bad things, probably. I don't know. Do you go to therapy? I don't know. Nothing. Nothing. I'm gone. I'm like. Distant. Do you go to therapy? I'm dabbling. <laughs> do you wait? Do you fully check out during? Does your mind just go? Sometimes, yeah. Really? Oh. You might be dealing with trauma from your past that you don't know how to deal with, and it's bringing up your trauma from your past. That's what they say. <laughs> I think it's. Bam, I think you got to dive a little bit deeper into therapy, and then maybe a therapist can give you suggestions on how. I don't think a sex therapist. I think a real therapist, and then the therapist can give you suggestions on things to try during sex to help you stay in the moment. You're dissociating. Yeah, I'm, uh, yes, I'm open to that? all that, and I'm going to keep exploring those things. Meanwhile, I'm also going to have You're a, gonna try to a practicality type uh, tests. But Josh, did you hear what you said? That you go other places when you have uh -huh. sex. You're not engaged in the moment. So you're right. dissociating. You're, that's, what, that's what dissociation is when you go mm -hmm. somewhere else. So you're, something's going on. She's right. You got to yeah. see a shrink, like for real. Mm -hmm. Talk okay. about some trauma shit. Hmm. And in the meantime, I will. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. See, he's dissociating right now. He doesn't want to stay in the moment he talking about his problem. Yeah. And I understand wow. what you're saying about uh, person number one there, but if we're gonna do the Josh is gonna get married game, maybe I would have picked her. But this is just trying to nut. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Fair, fair. Very fair. Fair. Fair enough. All right. And, I mean, they uh, can all get a. They can all get a try. Or like I said, like. Uh, <laughs> they can. Oh, yeah, you're fucking getting greedy. I like it. I love. I'm it. just saying. I mean, uh, if, if the if Jackie doesn't work out, you know, I say kick rocks, toots. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> kick rocks, toots. This toots is really funny. Yeah. Kick, rocks, kick rocks, toots. toots. Kick rocks, toots. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. Oh man. Christ. Yep. There what it is. What is going on? Today? Elementary. So. <laughs> All right, Nicole, this was a lot of fun. Thank you for um, having thank me. Thank you so much so for real coming. Treat. Let's uh can you bring the site up, please? Um we had it prepped before. You need to come there back. Go. Oh, she's gorgeous. Yes, thank what you. beautiful photograph. It's the website I made myself, so that's why it's hard to <gasps> read. Hit tour dates. <laughs> you hit tour dates? Up on the day. Go, let me. Right. All right. Oh, you're really hitting the road. You're Oof. Yeah. No you are it. out there. Yeah. Let's see, this will come out um, probably in a few more weeks, right? So maybe uh, the either the Raleigh one or definitely by um, Montreal you're going to. Yep. yep. Doing the festival. Then August, and I'm off. August, oh, you're off. And then you hit the road. Yeah. Got a bunch of dates. Um, so if you are in Houston, Dallas, uh, Cleveland, Detroit, Toronto, oh, Toronto Tampa, again. West Nyack, Lexington, Washington, D.C., Ben Salem. I learned how to say it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, Boston, San Jose. Go to NicoleBuyer.com. Get tickets. Go see her live. She's absolutely hilarious. And that's it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for coming. So Thank you for lovely. having me. Thank All right. you. Yeah, all of it, well, most
Bye, Mommy. Thanks, Jean. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, here, here so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jean.